Welcome, 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 friends, to the Rough Night Movie Podcast. My name is Allison, and I'm here to say a few things before we get started. Now, for this episode, we talk about the third Leprechaun movie, which, I don't know if you know this, is pretty bad. Um, But it's one of those, like, it's so bad, it's semi-enjoyable, because there's so many things worth talking about, um, including, but not limited to, um, sex robots... Uh, exploding asses and lips, um, titties, uh, titties probably comes up in this episode about one or nine times, but yeah, and you know, (laughs) and you you know, what, 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 what more can you expect from, from, uh, from us? Uh, except that we do have a special guest, uh, and that is Michael Juice Hands. We love Michael coming on the show. Uh, thank you for being a lovely reoccurring guest that is very funny and, uh, very, uh, okay with us and our shenanigans and just, like, being, doing an episode for, like, 15 hours. Anyway, so thank you again, Michael. You're very lovely. Uh, what else do we talk, we talk about, you know what, I think I just gave you a nice little taste about what you talk about. Why don't you listen to the episode and you let us know what you find interesting about... Uh, the third Leprechaun movie. Uh, and you can do that by rating and reviewing on iTunes. You see what I did there? Like that little nice transition? I wasn't even expecting it. It just kind of happened. Um, yeah. So please uh, enjoy this episode. Cool. Thanks. That was good. Was that good? Michael, you well, got that- a bunch of monsters in your background. I know. What, what that happened was um, on <laughs> Tuesday, um, I had an all nighter, and I haven't had an all nighter since like high school. What are you doing? Oh all yeah. For? Um, Is it sex? I was playing video <laughs> games. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I just loved how just everybody was good. just like, oh, we okay, thought it was like having sex. <laughs> that was important. That puss. <laughs> Bragging about PS4. Mm. I'll teach you to laugh at something! Where do you get off? Wrong, sir! Wrong! Can't do that. Okay, well, I won't do that. do that. Not tonight. <laughs> you can't do Not that, ever. Guys. No, you can't no. go full screen. That's my my impression of Kyle. Is just like, <laughs> you can't do that, guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking appreciate that. <laughs> uh, okay. That was good. Well, that was- Allison, if you want to start us off. Yeah, hell yeah. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Rough Night Movie Podcast. I'm Holy Allison. cow. That's crazy. I didn't know we'd do another one of these. We're doing it. And then you know what? Right. You're, we we got a we got a couple of people here doing it with no, me. I don't believe it. Yeah, who else is next Thank in you. line? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a couple of people, right? <laughs> All in one. You're like Whoa. the head and shoulders, two in one, baby. I'm three in one. Wow. I'm, wow. That's a fat job. Wow, Allison. That's a fat job. Wow, Allison. Right? Uh, After we watch Dumpling, you can go I'm, ahead. <laughs> I meant it in like a you know a whole package and a and a and a. You're just you you got it oh, all. Oh, now he's got a I'm big dick. Threat. He's more than just his dick. Okay, Allison. <laughs> uh, I'm Allison. I'm Jonas. I'm more than my dick. Okay, I'm Jonas. <laughs> I'm Torney Halls. Torney Halls. All right, Torney. Torney Talls. All right, Tony. Torney Halls. Why are Tony you here? Halls. Who gave you that name? My mom. Oh. Oh. Do you, Do you know who that is? He looks so cute too. He's like my mom. I know with his little blanket. He's, this is Kyle 3.14159. No, it's 42916. Oh, God damn it, with the numbers. 62891. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't know, Michael, um, I'm actually not Kyle. I'm not the Kyle that you've met. He's a clone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, by the way, we got Original. Michael Juice Hands on the show, everybody. Yeah, ah. welcome back. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Hello, 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 hello. Yeah. My name is Michael. Hello. Uh, what was the last, the last episode you were on was the live one, episode, right? yeah. Where, yes. where he was at hey. my place. Yes, and after his place, I took a massive dump. Yeah, because we <laughs> ate some really 
We ate really we ate, Chinese food, no, no. Mexican food, we, right? Was it like there's a Mexican yeah. place run by Chinese people, but do not yes. run the Chinese place just down the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my the, god. The, the guacamole was, was just guacamole. so bad. It was a guacamole. The guacamole was just so it bad. Was, it was like it was runny. It was like oiled and creamy. Like that's it was like the 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 like. I, I can't even explain it. It was just so bad. I've never seen wet guacamole like that. Exactly. The funny thing about we looked at each other was like, should we eat this? <laughs> we did, so. <laughs> well, Michael, it's been a while. So I wanted to do that. It's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> uh, thanks Guys, for I got something to say. Yes. Yeah, oh, it. yeah. Sure. Kyle had something to say. I cut him off. Did. No. I did when you were about to explain that, Michael, what you are, but... I'll let you oh, say what you well, say. Well, no, I mean, not that. I was I was done explaining that, really. I mean, I just... <laughs> Kyle got abducted, and I yeah. left. Yeah. Mm. Well, technically, he was quitting, and then and then he did. Then, then he, he got, got abducted. abducted, and then he yeah. got probed, so I probably. Been, I would have been here regardless. Yeah. But yeah. my point... Mm-hmm. Not my point. Not That point is done. What I was going to say is I've been a little bummed out. Okay. Oh, no. Right. No. And I've been, like, having an artistic existential crisis, right? Oh, because I'm sorry. <clears throat> with, se- sorry. with season four, we put a lot of work into the 50th. And um, with 51, you know, the intro and everything like that. And so yeah, that I was a lot. put a lot of work and haven't really heard any re- uh, responses or feedback other than George. Uh-huh. Right? Uh-huh. Which was sweet and lovely. But um, hadn't seen any increase in (laughs) views or anything like that so just i was like the past week i was just like why am i creating things no one wants to listen so so what you're saying is we need uh we need uh guests that are popular now well (laughs) no (laughs) no what what i'm saying (laughs) with a guest here It's okay, guys. Um, you know what? I'm gonna pay for views. <laughs> <laughs> no, what I was saying is, um, the other day I got home from work and I was just like, "Well, I'll just fucking look to see how many reviews we've gotten," and it hasn't increased at all. Mm-hmm. And then I went I, and I looked down, mm. and we got a review. Oh, I did not know this. And usually I check, and it was very sweet. Oh. And they said it's it's from. Uh, exact Lee L E I G H. Okay. Says so the D and D episode was fun. What? Go ahead, keep going. I think I know who this is. D and D episode was fun and hilarious. Uh, you're a good group that I would love to hear more harrowing adventures from. <laughs> gotta go. Gotta go back and listen to the rest of the show now because I didn't find this podcast until now. Oh my god, that made my day. Yeah, I literally, I like was in the car all depressed and stuff like that, and I lit- I was looking at my iPad and I just like I did a, like you know, <laughs> I like I literally did a knee stop. I was like, well, I'll be damned, kind of thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> You slapped your knee? Did you slap your knee a bit? I no, I actually mm-hmm. slapped my knee. I just didn't say, "Well, I'll be damned." Uh-huh. Um, and, he did. Uh, he did. He's just yeah, too just, to admit it. It 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 made me very uh, very happy and just like reinvigorated my like creativity and gave me a second wind and stuff like that. I'm so, glad. Good. What I'm it, the point I'm getting to is even if you think that. People don't need to hear it. I'm, I'm talking about like in your life, not just us, like give us more compliments. But yeah. in your life, if you have someone in your life, even with like a personality like mine, that's like super confident and you don't think that they would ever need. He's yeah. just got major like, big dick energy, you know, like, yeah. <laughs> you know, just swinging that thing. I don't need no compliments, but he do. Tell, tell the people in your Tell the people in your life that you appreciate yeah. them, regardless yeah. if you think that they want to hear it or not, because I promise you. They will very much appreciate. It. I, I love we, that. I we, I love that. I meant I, I said something you. like this on the uh, dumpling episode too. <clears throat> yeah, because it was like uh, we were talking about how someone was saying because uh, I was saying that that no one when I was when I was overweight back in high school times no one ever told me I was attractive or anything and someone said well no you're not no one's supposed to make you feel attractive you're supposed to feel that for yourself but you know it helps. When someone tells you that it's a, hey, you know what? You are a cutie. 
Uh, it, what doesn't help is like when no one says it, but then a lot of people are saying, oh, no, you're fat and make fun of you for being fat. Yeah. And and yeah, I think that it, you're right. Like um, positive reinforcement, even like in the littlest of ways and littlest of things, the most minor compliments to any stranger, even like really it, it helps. Yeah. You know, I, I, I think that's a really good thing to practice daily, too. You know, mm-hmm. even if it's just like someone you don't know or a message online. I love that. I'm really happy you brought that up because that, that made my day knowing that someone. Yeah really liked that because I, i'll be honest that D D episode that we did was so much fun and then listening to the final like living it and then listening to the final product it was like beautifully transformed and i mm-hmm. i really was like holy shit we we should do more of this again because it was good still don't <clears> understand <throat> why uh kyle didn't pick me up and ha- you know, gonna, carry still, me why did, why when i, was, when why I was injured I pick you <laughs> uh, it was me i think this is this is our uh, our first recording after uh, fifty and fifty one. What did you guys think about the the alien abduction and D anD D episode? F- <laughs> I'm like scared. the, fi- the I final was part. Scared. It was so funny. I was scared. You were scared. I was scared. I'm let those aliens come and get me. I love that. The, I don't the have a cloning machine. Editing. I I I texted you I, too when I just when have I heard. Michael. I just have Michael here. He's my yeah. only replacement. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm talking about, right, Michael? Michael hasn't talked in, oh, yeah. like, five minutes. I need him to talk. Yeah. He's like, D&D? What the fuck? Aliens? What What's the fuck going is this, what, what the fuck are you guys talking about? What the fuck? Compliments? Well, I know about Stranger Things. Michael, thank you for uh, listening to our podcast, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I totally supported you. I, I totally supported you. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I believe it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we 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 feel the support. Uh, you're like our bra, <laughs> feeling that support. Is hold, he trying to hold it? Hold his my laugh? bosom, Michael. <laughs> like the bra. <laughs> I it's love Michael's so- laugh because I it's do too. the most. I'm my laugh. Don't hold no, the laugh, dude. Don't. You have the best Let him laugh. Out. You do. Um, okay, guys, we're not talking about other past episodes, even though they were so good. Kyle, great job on the intro, great job on the background music, and guys, great job on I the, liked on... that you added another voice, too. Like, yeah. your second voice. I noticed that. I'm like, what are you talking oh! About? A what little about? extra editing. Alice, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Allison, um... A bit is a. <laughs> <laughs> That's a callback to episode forty nine. I uh, am better than this, you guys. Uh, we didn't. We didn't. We're not talking about past episodes, though. We're talking about Leprechaun Three. Hell yeah, baby! In Vegas. In Vegas. Mm-hmm. By the way, I think this is a great episode. A great movie. Great ep- and and an episode. Yeah, this is gonna be a great episode. I, no, I also think this is a great episode, Jonas. I am predicting it now. This is gonna be the best episode we've ever had. You know best why? Episode, yeah, because oh. we have Michael Juice hands here. I agree. oh wow. Who we are gonna give the opportunity to do a rundown of the movie. A, oh my god! A snips, a snip snap. You don't have to. We're just offering it to you. Yeah. You- if you if you want to if you want to show how big your testicles are, you don't have to. But it would be really w- l- lovely if you did. We're okay. No we're, worries. Line, baby. we're okay with small testicles, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like when a girl gets a nude. You don't have to. The guy doesn't have to send it, but it's nice when he does send it to her, right? Is that is that how it is? Is that how it goes? Yeah, That's yeah. I don't know why he's sending that as a message, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, Michael is going to opt out for doing it. So, um, Kyle, Allison, which one would you... Uh, who did the last... I think I did the last one, right? Yeah. I haven't I haven't done one this season. Okay. Would ahead, you like Kyle. to do this one? I, do, I... You don't. I would need a lot of help. I don't remember it. That's okay. okay. I'll do it. I can do I it. I watched it a week ago. You you're gonna do it, Jonas? I I can do it, Allison. I can do. It. I you're can the, do it. You're too. the Irish. You're the Irish woman. I'm the, the Irish pa- woman. You so have the I power. Make, it's St. Patrick's make, Day, so you have the power. I make the rules around Wait, here. Wait, is this our St. Patrick's Day episode? 
Yeah. Well, it's recording on. Say no, 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 no. We're recording. No. no, this comes out in two weeks. Yeah. Mm-mm. Well, we fucked that up. We gotta re- we gotta do something for limp member. Limp, when, excuse me. When is limp, limp member? member? When is limp member again? <laughs> it's the day after St. Patty's Day. Okay. Oh, I get it. I get it. <laughs> your holiday. Your holiday. The holiday you invented. I don't actually get it. I Michael is guy. just so confused right now. I'm confused. I forgot. I created a holiday. You created a holiday. Do you know? During... Remember, do you remember what episode that was? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. It was the one with Nicole, the, the Santa slaves, <gasps> or not Santa slaves. Uh, oh Santa, my Santa, my. Santa Martians. Oh my God. The Martians. Yeah. I do remember. We have to celebrate. They were making up. They were making up fake months, and you're like, I'm going to make up my own thing. And then you made up a holiday. And, and called it, it Lip Member. And it was member. Lip Member, the day after yeah, St. Member. Patrick's Day, because you can't get it up after all that whiskey and beer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I was so clever. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I can't wait to celebrate Lip Member. Me we got to do something special. We'll figure it out. But you know, In I don't know meantime. if it'll work for me, because I stay hard all the time. <laughs> Uh, but I'm. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work for me because I stay limp all the time. <laughs> no, that those are both. You're celebrating those are every, both day. Of, every day. Both, both of those are medical <laughs> conditions. You guys need to get those. Yeah, like I would like. To, I would hope to see a doctor. Okay. The the um, problem is you can't tell if I'm that I'm hard all the time. I just, <laughs> Kyle, can you put I, a Kyle, Can you put a wow wow on sound effect there? I'll put a sound effect. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'll do a sna- I'll do a snap sneep snap. Okay. If you, had, snap, if you snap, ever snap. want me to do a specific sound, you would never ask me to do that specific sound. No. You have to ask. <laughs> you have to ask for the opposite of that, and, and then yeah, I, I will do exactly what you. And want. you know what it is? It's gonna be like a boing. That's what it's gonna be. <laughs> no, it's not. But that's my theory. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I'll do the uh, snip snap once again. Uh, before I begin, I would like to say I and I was telling Michael this before. Uh, I tried watching this movie three times. First time I fell asleep after 20 minutes. Second time, it was like a couple days afterwards. I started from the 20 minute mark and I got so bored I stopped. And then I watched it again today. So I'm letting you know it might be a little bit rusty, but then when is it not? It's always fun anyway. So here we go. I mean, (laughs) I mean, Allison, I just watched it at work. Yeah. So I I could do it if, if you need me to or if you want me to take over later if you forget stuff. Why don't you help me out okay. when I need it? Okay. But thank well, what you. If I, what if I, if, I, if I want? Kyle, I would really want you to help me out as well. Michael? What if I wanted to? There we go. Out? Yeah. You there, can, we go. there we go. Yeah, we got oh, the whole game. Learning. Oh, no. What? And here we go. So it all starts off uh, where this guy is driving all by himself and he's driving through Vegas because he's going to go to school. I forgot where. Not really important because he doesn't go to school. Um, But he meets up with this real hot girl who has a broken down car in the middle of the highway and she's like, can you drive me to work? And he's like, hell yeah, brother. And they drive. (laughs) What did I do? You're waving at me. I forgot to put my headphones in this whole time. So you picked up all that audio. Yeah. Oh my god. No. <laughs> oh no. What should we do? I think we just keep it and I'll just I I'll I've just created more work for myself as well. Okay. Oh, also course. Allison. At least it's only a little bit. Yeah. You forgot about the guy with the lucky tattoo on his hand that brings oh, in left. Yeah. You know what? Fuck it, Jonas. You just do it. Because. <laughs> <laughs> just do it. No. You do it. You're doing such a lovely job. You're Am I? No, because I, I really didn't do. I don't know much about the beginning. So I, you know what? I will, I will hand it over to you. Okay. Well, it all starts off. <laughs> With a uh, a gentleman walking to a pawn shop with a tattoo on his hand that says "Lucky," and then when he opens the door, it, it, he's less than that because he's missing an arm, he's missing an eye, he's missing a foot. I uh, did forget about this. And he brings in this uh, he brings in this giant statue of Leprechaun, or Lep as he's known as, and 
the pawn shop owner's like, I'll give you 20 bucks for it. And the guy's like, okay, don't touch the fucking medallion. And he touches the medallion, takes it off, it brings the leprechaun back to life. Leprechaun is like, hey, this is my gold, get off of it, bitch. And uh, then he, tra he, he finds out the medallion can cause harm to Lep. So Lep is uh, scared and runs into the back room. So he locks Lep in there with the medallion. And then he puts in a CD-ROM in his computer that shows, hey, this is what leprechauns are. This is what happens when you when you, uh, when you steal their gold. You get, get to make a wish with one of their coins. Uh, while that's going on, we meet Scott, who is on his way to California, to LA for school. And he, ru he almost runs over a girl named Tammy, <coughs> who is a magician's assistant. He decides to drive her to work, and he's like, hey, I've never been to a casino before. Can I come in? And she's like, uh, you're not 21, bitch. And he's like, uh, <laughs> bitch, please. And he's like, okay, bitch. Well, here, let's go inside. But you can't gamble. And he's like, okay, I won't. Uh, so we go back to the pawn shop. The pawn shop owner's like, got his ear bitten off, his, t his toe bitten off, and is like, close to dying. But he's like, hey, I'm going to kill this leprechaun. I'm going to steal all his gold now. And he goes in to try to kill the leprechaun. Leprechaun uh, doesn't go down so easily. He shoots him with an arrow, and then the old racist Indian, the racist, most racist version of an Indian dude, goes into goes back to his uh, uh, pawn shop where he's safe. But and then he's like, "Oh, okay. Uh, let's, let's try to let's try to bargain with this guy." He's like, "I'll give you the medallion, or I'll throw away the medallion if you give me all half of your gold." And the, the leprechaun's like, "Okay, sure." He puts away the medallion. He's like, "Fuck you, bitch!" And he steals the medallion and throws it away so where he can't get it. And he kills the uh, Indian dude. Now while that's happening, Scott is inside the inside the casino and he's just like, "Oh, cool. This is so nice. What gambling? I I wasn't going to. Oh my god. I need to spend twenty three thousand dollars." right now <laughs> and he does it in less than 30 minutes but I couldn't watch it past this point it was made me so nervous but so, yes, go on. so when he uh, so he loses it to at a, at a roulette table where the uh, lady lo named Loretta is is running the show and she's cheating she's and Rigged. Yeah, it's rigging it. Okay. You also <laughs> you also meet the magician to uh, Tammy's um, boss uh, and Tammy's boss Mitch and the magician whose name is the great Fazio and everyone really sucks at this <laughs> casino so after Scott loses his money he goes to he goes to the pawn shop and he finds the guy, dead guy but he finds a gold shilling and he's like oh man the gold I shilling wish. and then on the computer the computer is like oh, <laughs> let's let's make a let's 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 look at this again. So Leprechaun loves gold. If you gamble his shilling, you make a wish. Your wish comes true, and he goes, "Oh, I wish I was back at the casino and went uh, on a winning streak." He's back at the casino. He's won a hundred thousand dollars at this point. The a bitch is like, "You know what? Let's try to stop this kid from winning money." So here, go get a room, man. And they want to steal the money from him. So they try to steal the money from him, but it doesn't work. Lep shows up at the casino, attacks Scott. Scott stabs him in the fucking head. Blood pours onto a wound that's on Scott, thus starting the process of turning him into a leprechaun throughout the movie. No, the the wound is from his bite, isn't it? Yeah, he bit him. No, but and but, but the, blood, the blood the the blood flew uh, poured into his bite wound. Right, right, right. So, uh, but it was still kind of vampire-y, right? It was kind of vampire. Uh, ho howling crossover. Exactly. That's what I thought too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Continue. Uh, <laughs> which is werewolf, not vampire. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> um, so uh, Scott runs into uh, uh, so the shilling is stolen by by the great Fazio. Fazio gives the coin to Loretta. Loretta, uh, it, it, Mitch takes the coin from Loretta. He goes, he's like, I can get any woman I want, and she's like, Yeah, right. You couldn't even get Tammy, and he's like, I could get Tammy. I wish. And then Tammy is like all enthralled with Mitch, and she's like, Oh, Mitch. Let's go fuck right now. So they go to the elevator, and she's like, "I like my men like I like my kiss, my love making rough." And she starts slapping the shit out of him, and then he starts beating himself up because he's about to beat off on her. And then he goes nice. to the room. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle just did up. The fuck was that? <laughs> um, so uh, we go to the room. Uh, Mitch and Mitch and Tammy are about to fuck, and then Loretta steals the coin back because she realizes, oh, if I say I wish, then it'll, it'll come true. 
and then Loretta, uh, no, Loretta, uh, Tammy comes to her senses and she's like, okay, uh, fuck this guy, you, you're pretty much, uh, raping me at this point, because I didn't know what I was doing, and, uh, and she leaves, and she starts crying, and Scott's like, fuck that dude, we can't let that happen, and he goes upstairs to go fight him, and then they find that he's dead, Leprechaun's, Leprechaun's, like, looking for his gold chili, finds out it's with Loretta, Loretta wishes that she was sexy and 20 years younger, Loretta is then uh, Leprechaun's like, oh, you wanted, you want bigger boobs? Here you go. Here's big boobs. Here's a big ass. Here's a big lips. Kim Kardashian. Oh. She explodes. Uh, then the great Fazio gets the shilling and says, I want to be the greatest magician. Um, Scott and Scott and Tammy go to the hospital because Scott's not feeling well because he's turning into a leprechaun, and he fights the leprechaun at the hospital because he still thinks that the he has the um, the coin. Uh, then they, uh, he pushes, he uses his power, sorry, I'm trying to think of, like, what happened. He uses his powers <laughs> to get rid of, to get rid of, uh, Leprechaun, Le- and they use the medallion as well. They go back to the hotel. <laughs> uh, the great Fazio is having a show. He fights, he tries to fight with magic with, uh, with the Leprechaun. Doesn't work. Leprechaun kills the great Fazio. Um, then, uh, Scott and the Leprechaun fight off, and Scott's like, oh, uh, the the only way to his powers is the gold, so he burns all the gold, destroying the leprechaun, making him turning him back into human. There's still one gold shilling left, and they were like, "Nah, I got anything, everything I want." And they throw away the gold shilling, and then that's the end. <sighs> you forgot the most important part, which was they, tits. Oh yeah, they had tits. Yes. The meaning of friendship. That means- Tits were amazing. No, tits. <laughs> nice tits, girl. Nice tits, girl. Tits, girl. But the thing is, the tits, we it, it, we saw the face of the tits this time. Not like the last movie. Yes, they yes they were ag- the actual tits. Because it was an extra, it wasn't the main girl. Yeah. Also, did it, That's didn't it seem like, in the last movie, didn't it seem like he was rhyming more than he was in the first and in this movie? I, yes. I thought it was like a rhyme off. He was he was he was doing a little rhymey timey in right. this one, but not as bad. Yeah, no, I thought it was worse in this one. No, it was not bad as as bad in, in this one to me. And since the second in one, this, it, it, in this one, it, it was less rhymes and just bad jokes. Yeah, like I, I was, was expecting really bad jokes. I was yeah. expecting him to rhyme, and then he would just be like, you know, uh, <laughs> what one two three, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> one two three, <laughs> this is not a good pawn shop. <laughs> okay. Oh, right. No, no, no. There, there, there was one point where he bites the ear off of the Indian dude. He goes, I love Indian food. Yeah. And I was like, Yes. He's like, Ooh, What? Yeah. Ooh, spicy. He goes, yeah. Ooh, spicy. <laughs> my, like, okay. yeah. Michael, what did you think about yeah. this whole movie? Have you ever watched the Leprechaun movies oh my, before? Uh, oh, wait. Was wait, a kid. Be- wait. Before we get into yes. that, I, I just want to say for our listeners uh, the first 15 minutes of this episode i wasn't uh, angry <laughs> i was i was laughing but i most likely edited those out because it'd be easier to edit out just the, the, edit in the most crucial points of me talking and edit out every other noise so because of you because i didn't have my headphones oh, out. Gotcha. so uh yeah sorry okay. <laughs> but i was there was, i was chuckling and he there were there. other noises he was <laughs> you were farting. But, uh, I didn't. <laughs> I was shitting my pants. <laughs> uh, anyway, go ahead, Michael. Um, yeah, as a kid, I hated this movie because I was so scared to watch it. Uh-huh. It was either this movie, um, Chucky, and Ragdoll. Yeah, and um, you, I bet you feel like a big fucking pussy right now, don't you? Oh yeah, I've, you know I was scared of watching this, you know, in my old nighter. No, I'll play it now. No. I, I saw it last night. Um, I was, it was okay. It was... I, I almost fell asleep. I fell asleep a few times watching really? this movie. I thought this movie <laughs> I was. I thought this movie was very exciting for some reason. Is that weird? It was exciting, but it won't. It wasn't good. <laughs> it, it wasn't good because I don't know. Even though the first, the first scene itself it was like it was like um, the guy with the um, with like the the fake hand, you know the um, yeah, like the amputee guy. Mm-hmm, 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 He's mm-hmm. like, this will give you good luck. Well, it seems like it didn't give you good luck, and then I was just like, oh my god, this is so corny. Yeah, it's like the <laughs> it's just the jokes itself. Oh, yeah. oh my god. My can't... my first note was this guy doesn't seem to so lucky, but has fists saying otherwise. Right. <laughs> I hated the okay. characters. They were okay. not likable at all. 
the only likable character was Tammy. Exactly. Yeah. And no, um, no. Okay, you know what? No, I, I will. I will argue that. I think the most likable characters were those two um, mob bosses: the guy in the Hawaiian shirt and his, okay. the guy in the suit. Oh, they, they're hilarious. They they had had the, it would have been nicer to see they, them more. They had the best chemistry. They they there were was, the best uh, characters in my opinion. Fuck, I for, I forgot the scene. What? With those two, where they, I think they were. It's just them standing in the middle of the casino, yeah. and they're. It's it sound. It sounds like it's like ad libbed, right? Yeah, and it was so good. Yeah, I I I I found that genuinely funny. That that scene was funny. And there was there was another scene where they're where they're holding Mitch by the collar, mm-hmm. and he's like, by ten o'clock, and then he's like, it's, is ten a good? When's your break? He's like nine thirty, nine thirty five, nine forty five. Yeah, yeah, right, I yeah, love right. that. And I was like, these guys are hilarious. I got you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for the help. I'm like, oh, no. No, like, this is fine. Like, and this is, there's no other option. Oh. But there was another option that you helped me discover, and I appreciate it. We discovered. Uh, the only problem is if we get, like, messages from, say, Michael saying that he's too high for this shit. I was, <laughs> I was just going to say, that's literally what I just, I just found. <laughs> Don't know why you messaged it and you just didn't say it, Michael. It's because he didn't because he wants this to be a PC podcast, you know? He doesn't yes, want, yeah. you know, fuck us that. talking about drugs and alcohol. Hey, fuck a thing. Fuck that. Yeah. I'm about to do heroin right now. Yeah, uh, let's let's go. I was I'm shoot it up. I was just listening to 51 and we were talking about cream pie and ladies. So I, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and, cream pie. And uh, like our kinks. My favorite. My Michael's favorite. like, I, really I do that all the Duncan, time. <laughs> don't. No, I wait. Just, what? It's not my favorite. <laughs> wait, Joe, no, Jonas. What's? Wait, I mean, Michael. What's what? Same. Same. I was gonna say my favorite donut, but no, it was a bad joke. Uh, no. You can. Good. You can. You can come in a donut. You can. You can. I've yeah. seen That's that. What's it, ha- it, it has a hole. A donut. As long as well, <laughs> that wouldn't be coming into it. That would be coming <laughs> through it. <laughs> I mean, you gotta come somewhere, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I didn't say I, I didn't say it was my favorite. I just said I've done it a couple times. Yeah, yeah. and Alice, like Allison, Allison says that she likes the compilations. Yeah, I do. Mm. Mm. Michael, no, what's you your favorite? Because you only want to get to the good stuff. Yeah, yeah. Compilations yeah. are really good. Yes, I, I like compilations. But what's your too. Especially if you're like, if are you're you like a, really turned on. Uh-huh. Yeah, after you've well, watched, are a few, you the type of purple that like opened up tabs? Okay. Like you open up I used tabs. to. Yes. I used to. Oh. I, I, I'm a, I'm a multiple. I open up multiple tabs. I open up different videos. And I'm just like, all right, <laughs> let me see this snippet. And I'm like, Jump eh, around. Nah, not like well, it. you got uh, uh, the other one. You got you got multiple got monitors screens. now, right? That's the reason why. Exactly. Yeah, that's the reason why I bought them. Yeah, exactly. Uh, what, what I, <laughs> I play video games at the same time. Like, okay. <laughs> what I do is gotta get into the database is, right now. <laughs> I'll play. I'll play. You, a, got, vi- you got four videos on your screen. I'll play the audio from a different video and. Overlay it on another video to see if they match. What is up. wrong with you? Yes. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I like how that's where I draw the line. I'm like, what's your fucking problem, Jonas? <laughs> Guys, hey, pies don't, and donut. No. Don't king shame me, dude. Just because I like. <laughs> um. Anyways, I, uh, you guys. Yes. I just want you to know that a customer gave me beer. Okay. A, c- mm, a customer a as a tip. Uh, just in general, because his son works for whoever owns like Budweiser and Stella and stuff like that. Nice. Oh, that's cool. But yeah, he so he gave me a like a like a case of Stella, and I haven't had shit beer in a very long time. Mm-hmm. Oh no! It doesn't taste like anything. Okay. It's oh, just, again, it's you're, just water. Again, your lips you know, are very um, red today. Oh, they are. Yeah. I just feel I like, like beer that. itself is like such an acquired taste where it comes to a point where like it just, it's just like, all right, I, you start liking beer. Like nobody really likes beer when they no. first started. They pretend to. Uh, right, exactly. No, that's not true. <laughs> Have you yeah. met Kyle? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's like coffee. You got to do it. At, like, you know what? I like IPAs. Times. You know what? That's just, that's just uh, someone who, someone who says that just, they haven't found the right beer. To love. Yeah, they're just they're just I mean, like, like to- they're just like I like drinking just, beer. I just wouldn't are Nazis. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know, German ale. Nazis. Yeah. That's what 
That's what Stella is. I th- no, it's a lager. I think the thing is, like, when the people start off drinking beer, they're drinking the worst, and they don't find... Yeah, you're drinking shit beer. They're, they start yes. off with, like... You start off with, like... Budweiser, Budweiser Bud Light, yeah. They don't know good beer. Yeah. And blue... Blue... Blue Moon? Blue Moon. I was going to say Blue good. Blue Ribbon. Paps Blue Ribbon. Paps. Blue ribbon. Paps. 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 That's what it is. Paps. Paps. Yeah. Oh, it's... I wouldn't... I wouldn't... You know how they got that Blue Ribbon? There's so much happening. Yes. Do you guys know how they got that blue ribbon? How no. got the blue ribbon? The blue ribbon is an award. From what I understand, yeah. I haven't I haven't dived into this fact, okay. but I was told that they won this blue ribbon award because they were the only ones who showed up to the competition. Really? So they, they won it. Yeah. That that reminds me of a story of me when I won the yellow ribbon um, at horse camp. Um, is that part? I'm sorry. Is that I'm sorry, Allison. Did you just did you say you're a, a woman and that you went to horse camp? Yes. And I went to mm. horse camp, and it checks I won out. the that yellow. Checks out. I won the yellow ribbon, and it was third place. And I, there was only three people in the competition, but they still gave me a ribbon. I was last. I lost. Are you sure? So I still it, won. Are you, sh- are you sure it was yellow wow. and not golden? Like it was how it, the leprechaun <gasps> loves gold in this movie? Oh, no, sorry. Look at that Just, transition. You, we can't. We can't get back to the movie because I have to tell uh, Michael it. about about my theory that all women want to fuck horses. Oh yeah. Oh okay, all right. I'm, I think so, I'm ready. You missed a lot. You know. You know. Well, that's the whole. That's the whole theory. Okay, good. All yeah. women oh, want to fuck horses. There's all horses. Fuck horses. There's. I mean, think about it. They got big dicks. They have mm-hmm. long, beautiful hair. They're super muscular. <laughs> they got great glutes. Like yeah. they're the fucking. Right. They're a perfect man. They're, hell yeah, brother. So. Oh yeah, brother. Uh, and if you get a fucking centaur. <laughs> oh oh god, that's. <laughs> Sorry. Um, um, okay. So, did you just did you just apologize for laughing? I snorted and I got I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. So, uh, this movie, guys. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah. Um, but Scott, what do you think about Scott and Tammy as, as characters? Uh, they, oh, I God. I actually really like Scott. I think I really? thought he was a really interesting character. I thought oh, I thought he was goofy, no. goofy looking <laughs> no. as hell. No, I, he was goofy looking, but I was engaged <laughs> with him from the beginning. I just don't. Uh, I don't have a gam. I've never. I've never been a person that was dic- addicted to gambling. Like I've gambled. Before. I guess that's what he. I guess that's what it was, right? He was addicted. Yeah, like that was the the point. Well, they were his trying dad to make. was a gambler. Is that what he said? Is that what he said? Yes, yes. His uh, dad was a gambler. Uh, so I guess they're trying to say that it runs gambling in the blood. is hereditary. Yes, <gasps> yes. Just like oh. alcoholism. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Just like yeah. crackism. And mm-hmm. Cath- Catholicism. Mm-hmm. Just like anal. <laughs> no, all right. So, <laughs> <laughs> so um, no, hear him out. Hear him out. <laughs> Guys, I love anal. My dad does too. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew you were gonna, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that tickled. Uh, I was gonna wait. <laughs> I, I tickled Michael with that one. Uh, oh, but uh, no, I, I thought it was just really weird because he literally just starts looking at things and he's just like, "Oh, I gotta gamble my twenty three thousand dollars for uh, right. home in home intuition." Um, but at least he gets the hundred thousand. Like, he couldn't just like half that. No, when you like, got a problem, well, right? when you got a problem, dude, you got a problem. <laughs> well, I thought it was, I thought it was just that that scene was just gonna go on for like another thirty seconds, and then like not cut to him losing all his money. Yeah, and then it cut to him literally losing all his money, and I was like, holy fucking shit! Yeah, I thought was- it was just gonna be like. I thought it was just gonna like he was just gonna like lose another couple hundred, and then he was like, "Well, I gotta right. stop. I gotta figure out how to win this, you know, couple hundred no, that I, I he lost." He lost you know, everything. Right? No, he literally. Yeah, he bet his entire on on roulette on a fucking I, roulette table. Like, yeah. not even like the thing is, no like, strategy. Like he didn't even like go to a different table. He stayed no, at he that didn't one even no. slot. That's where you make the money. <laughs> Blackjack. Uh, uh, I'm more of a gambling tips from Alice. I'm more yeah, of a, I know a few things. Te- I'm a Texas I'm Hold'em kind of guy. Man. I'm a Texas Hold'em kind of guy. Oh, poker? Mm, huh? Yeah. Your is, poker it is it because you're from Texas? <laughs> <laughs> he's doing a poker face, and it's probably because he's from Texas. <laughs> really scary. I don't think that's real. I think you're. I think you're fibbing. 
Yeah. That's that's not my poker face. Yeah, that's not my poker face. I, I cry so that I make sure to cry on command so that they can't tell if I'm no, bluffing or not. That's this is like, smooth. please don't. Just please don't, don't call. <laughs> <laughs> Just cry. Please, please don't call. If you, <laughs> you've got children back home. Uh, <laughs> I need a win this. But anyway, right, well, uh, I didn't like Scott because wow, I thought he was going, is it because you're uh, is it because I'm a woman? Is it because you're a feminist? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? Scott was very, very a very good soul. He was a good soul. You're right. You just annoyed the shit out of me. I didn't have no patience today. Because when Tammy was essentially about to be raped because she didn't know what she was doing, she was against her will. About to have. She was drugged with magic. Yeah. (laughs) Uh, Scott was like, "No, we can't let it." uh, There was a. It was a very heroic scene. This scene where he goes to the elevator. He goes, "I'm not gonna let him do this to you." Right. And we shouldn't let him get away with it. We should go off first. Yeah. And, no. And then, just let it happen. And then the music right, got, like, really heroic. The the camera pans forward to, re- like, yeah. them just, you know, about to do this mm-hmm. big thing. Mm-hmm. And I was like, wow, this is really... Mm-hmm. And then Mitch ends up dead. Yeah. This is what... <laughs> and, and to oh. also go off of that, too, um, the whole, like, heroism idea in this movie, like... Yeah. He was really like not he like he wasn't the hero. She he was, wasn't. wasn't she? Yeah. yeah. And it it's just annoying where it's like I just see this a lot in movies where it's like oh the man goes and saves a day like it's like oh it's the man's job like that's when we're gonna turn it around like no that bitch she killed it but like yeah, uh oh did. you know what I mean well, like that one like he, I get he, it I get it it's like yay it's so nice like he's a good person but it's just kind of like Meh. it was more like a combination of things because he had the flamethrower but she was the one to convince him like. Don't. You're not like him. Destroy the gold. I'm sorry. Kyle looks like he's mad at me. Or he's like no. upset what I said. No. I just... Your argument... It's just... I don't know. It's just meh. It's just meh. <laughs> like, you have points to make. I know. I just don't want to talk about it right you, now. You, you, you filtered it down to meh. meh. <laughs> just talk about I it, Allison. I, well, no. Because I... Well, I mean... I don't know. I think it's just more redundant. Why are y'all laughing? Now I'm embarrassed. We're not laughing. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Yeah, we're listening. No, no, no. I, it's, it, I mean, it's not a big deal. Michael tell, is just, perpetually laughing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's just, just always that's laughing. Just his, that's his, he's having but a great That's time. his natural state. There's that's a, his natural there's state. Some, that there's natural there's state. stuff that's happening to make him laugh continuously, but we're trying to, we're listening to you. No, 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 no. I'm, yeah, it, no, it's not a big deal. I just, I, I don't really have much to say. I guess I just, I, I see I, it as I, being kind of just annoying. I and get what you're saying. And like I thought like, she was the better she, character, she, and it was just kind of watered. No, down. she was. No, I think she, she was had very a better arc in the uh, in, in the movie itself. You know, well, she was she was just more, you know, like aware of what was going on and like take right, action. Yeah. The only thing that Scott did was burn the the gold at the end. Yeah, that right, was exactly. that if was really all he did. Her, he would have just like taken the gold. Yeah. It, well, he would have been a leprechaun. Yeah. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. For real. Yeah. Right. Um, and, I mean, but that's, that's kind of, you know, par for the course with the times that the movie came out. It was that, you know, mid nineties. Oh yeah. That was I'm, like yeah, I, all movies. It's to like be that. expected, you know? Exactly. For yeah. Sure. But I think, uh, I think a lot of movies nowadays are taking steps and that with like Absolutely. atomic bond and, Actually, and stuff like that. <laughs> I, I have something, I mean, I know it's, it's off topic, but it is kind of interesting. Uh, Question wise, like about femininity in movies, um, mm-hmm. I'd be interested interested to like hear what you guys have to say about it. How do you feel about <sighs> Ray? I'm sorry. Yeah, I know. God, talking about women. <laughs> Yikes! I only like to talk about them women's when my favorite fun. subject. <laughs> <laughs> What's no, that? What was uh, the question? Awesome. Do you think? Was, do you yeah, think it's there. important to have femininity in strong female characters, or do you think it's? Or Did you, you see a not- video essay? No, but my professor asked this in class, and it made me think, because he was okay. like, how do you feel about Rey in The Force Awakens? She's not really feminine. Do you mm-hmm. think it takes away from the idea of her being a strong woman because they make her more masculine? Or do you think uh, like a more feminine version, like Wonder well, Woman, is, think, like, more, is more important? And I was like... I think, sa- I think saying that kind of pigeonholds what a woman can be, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the, the idea of a woman is... You know the the definition of a woman is whatever a woman wants to be. Yeah. yeah. So saying that, like, you know, having a strong character be a woman, but she's not feminine, is like 
but reducing means, what, what true women, but he also means like representation. Do. So like what if, how uh-huh. they represent how they're represented represent yeah oh shouldn't words. shouldn't we represent people how they are though yeah for sure i just think that um he was just asking what they what he thought that we thought was better uh, <laughs> as an example right and i think both are fine yeah. yeah i think you can have a, a, a feminine lead you know that's quote unquote girly and have her be heroic in the hero or whatever mm-hmm. or you can have one just be like you know Unisex, yeah. someone someone you know that I mean? was had to like adapt to a, a an area where she could you know she didn't have any like girly things around her like she had to survive mm-hmm. in this we're talking about ray in yeah. where she had to survive in a world by herself in a desert land there's no females to like show yeah. her how to become a woman essentially yeah there's she's just aliens. existing aliens. you know yeah and it's like i like that too because it's just kind of <clears throat> I was saying, like you know, compared to Wonder Woman, where I like, I feel like I feel as if that character is hyper hyper sexualized, whereas with Ray, it's just her existing <clears throat> and just it's not her femininity well, isn't brought up, but she's you're still getting into comic books. You're getting into comic books in general. All comic book characters are hyper sexualized. Like that's just males. I mean, no man is built like Superman. And no, you know what no, I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. I would if I was a super how I would never be wearing like spandex like that showing off all my right. <laughs> Like that's ass. just like that's there's no superheroes arm, there's are no just armor in there. Right. Regardless if they're male or female or aliens, they are like look at Martian Manhunter. He is an alien and yeah. he's wearing this these this built dude and he's like <laughs> Super like he tight just, spandex. He literally just ha- not even spandex. He just has two lines across his chest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, so I mean, co- comparing you know characters to Wonder Woman and stuff, like I get it, but there's also the aspect of her being in that superhero world. So there is that like okay, tilt to it for sure. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think I think both are important. I think you should like everyone should be represented. All personalities should be represented. Mm-hmm. I think telling the same story with the same characters is boring. So you know, yeah. I don't think any, anyone I, saying that a character should be something because of their sex is the exact opposite of what we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I yeah I like that. I just I I keep thinking of that question a lot for some reason because it, I yeah it's just. I never really thought of her as being like not feminine, but like they make her mm. more masculine. And then he was like, "Do you think that 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 is like hurting the?" And he was like, "Do you think that's like not helping the feminist movement because she's not feminine?" And I'm like, "No, I don't think so at all." I think I think the problem that we run into is shoehorning <laughs> feminist stuff into a character. Yeah, I yeah. think I think if you're going to tell a story where the sex matters. Absolutely, yeah. that should be a, that should be a factor, and that's but why like, this is so with, important because it's not with, like a thing; it's just like her. Yeah, go on. right. She's just a character. Yeah. Um, with Alien, the uh, um, Sigourney oh, Weaver. Shit. Yeah. What's her What's her character's name? Uh, uh, Liz Lisa Riley? Riley. No. Riley Rip, R- Ripley. 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 Ripley wasn't written uh, as a male or female. Ripley was written as any character. Yeah, but then you have that one scene where she's walking around her underwear for no reason. It's like, well... Well, that could be a guy, though. That's the thing. You could have a guy walking around in his underwear. It'd be the same thing. True, true. But I know some people were upset about that, but I don't have Um, a preference. But it it wasn't written in mine because it didn't matter. It was just someone surviving on a spaceship. Yeah. Yeah. And it just so happened that they cast her for the role, and she became one of the, you know... Best representations of females in movies, uh, you know, around that time, stuff oh, like yeah. that. So, um, yeah, if if you're if you're making a story about a character like where sex matters, then sure, you know, have 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 that be a thing. Have them be, f- you know, feminine or not. Have that play into the storyline. But if you're just making a character, right for the character, and then you can decide, you know. The, the gender later or whatever it doesn't it doesn't it shouldn't matter you should just write a good story yeah all right thanks for your input i appreciate you all just wanted michael to talk about it didn't say what he thought yeah michael allison michael Did he want to what's say your what thoughts i mean <clears throat> you have to both s- good <laughs> there we go <laughs> i like this <laughs> um what else about this movie i hated almost all the characters i felt really bad for that one older woman even uh even even oh, the lady 
Who? You said Loretta. Is that the? <laughs> That's right. Is that the? Is the, it the 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 um the one the, who wanted the, to be beautiful? I felt really yes, bad. Yes, the one that wanted to be beautiful, and she like blew up. Yeah, yeah, she, I felt bad for her. But she, she lived her she, best she, life, I mean, life for like twenty she, minutes. Yeah. She was she, she <laughs> right, was exactly. It's like um. Mm. Out of, out, of, beautiful. out of the all the she people, was shitty though. Like, the, she was, yeah, she was. She but was out shitty. of all the people that made a wish, hers felt more emotional. It absolutely yes. was. Yeah, yes. and, that's, yes. and I was like, oh, uh, yeah. I wanted to ask the the gold wish on a coin thing. That's new, right? That's, that's new. Not, that's a new kind so, of lore. Yeah. Even the med- there was the the medallions. There, oh, the medallion is new too. The the medallions new. That they didn't explain where that was that came from. Yeah. Apparently, it. If you put it around his neck, it turns him into a statue. Yeah. Right. Um, if he eats it, he'll bleed out of his mouth. Yeah. They didn't really <laughs> specify the rules there. I didn't even think about I that. I wonder if like, we'll if learn you, more if about he, that or if it's just expected <laughs> for us to just like. Yeah, right. Take, take, I don't know. There you go. Um, but uh, yeah, but before they, they talked about if you get his gold, you get wishes. Like if you get the whole pot. Yeah. But this one introduced like you can make one wish per wish gold of, coin. Yeah, right. and if it's you've if you've already made that wish, you can't use that coin. But someone else can grab that same coin and make that and make wish. a wish, which is right. really yeah, weird. So it's like one one wish per coin per person. Yeah, yeah, one right. like and one. You can't prayer. make a wish against a leprechaun. <laughs> uh, and you can't make yeah. You, the leprechaun's gold can't hurt the leprechaun unless you right. set it on fire. Then it really hurts right. it. <laughs> I want. I wish uh, this leprechaun was on fire. I, was like, I no, literally want them that. to remake this movie, but with the Pawn Stars from <laughs> the, <laughs> the, yeah, with the dad Pawn and the Star guys. Oh my gosh, that'd be funny. I think that'd be great. You said por- porn star. Just, I was like, what? That's, that too. That's the joke. <laughs> what? That's the joke, guys. <laughs> I don't. Want, I don't get it. Well, who are you what? looking to? You don't have an audience. <laughs> I'm, looking <around. laughs> I'm looking at you guys. I'm looking at you guys. Yeah, no, we got it. Uh, <laughs> I love when we explain our jokes to each other. Um, um, there, there was just a lot of moments wait, in this movie. We'll go, we'll go ahead, Kyle. Wait. What would be your guys' wish if you were to get a coin? Oh. Well, that's rough. That's rough, bro. Just, I, do I I'll get one my, coin? Or? One yeah, one, one coin. One coin. I want to know what Kyle's is. If you were to guess, guess what mine would be, you guys. It would be to have just an unlimited supply of poon, just that you're just whatever you want. <laughs> He's, He's not in his head, head silently. Like, oh, yeah. He's not in his head, like, yeah. Like, hey, yes. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Honestly. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah, I want to know. It, it would be uh-huh. to get rid of selfish. Oh. Selfishness. Self- mm. Selfishness. Which one is it? Oh, selfishness? Selfishness. Selfishness. Just selfishness. entirely? If you yeah, if I wanted to get I want to get rid of the the selfish, self centered trait that humans have like You're naturally. Have a lot of people say sorry a lot. Yeah, and then also <laughs> no, I feel like there's there's natural selfishness that keeps you alive though. I think I think being aware of what keeps you alive and being and only looking out for yourself are two tip are two different things. True. No, no, no. I well, mean, I, I, I think there's think, an element. Yeah. You know, there's a great. There's. I mean, I, I'm. I think that's a lovely answer. I'm just saying. I, I'm trying to think. I feel like there is. Gonna fuck up. Yeah, yeah. I feel like right, Kyle's gonna. Well, like yeah. An element where, like, you know, in order to survive, you have to be a little selfish. So, yeah, and also you know, it's like more of that type of thing. And, of and putting like... yourself first sometimes. <laughs> I think, though, if you were to get rid of selfishness from everyone, the people around you would keep you alive. Oh, I oh love that. that's really oh. good. Well, what if you're by yourself? I, I really want Kyle to be like, <laughs> don't, be, don't, be a lo- don't be a loser. <laughs> I really want Kyle to be like, just kidding. I want some nice tits, girl. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice tits, girl. <laughs> no, um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I wish for. I wish, uh, guys, I just fucking cut myself on this goddamn tab. I'm so sorry. Mm. I wish you don't get infected. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, she's prickly, that one. That tab. I can feel her. He's real tab. Uh, My arm is glowing. Okay. Honestly, I, w- <laughs> I would wish that I would win one big lottery just so I could help pay for, every- like, pay my parents, like, housing, my brother's house, um, get my, my grandmother's place re- renovated in the Philippines. That's, that's stuff nice. Stuff like that. So you, you hope to win the lottery to help other people. That's pretty... 
selfless. But which one? You can win a lottery and it'd be a little bit of money, and you can win it. You could be a, like a big lottery. The big lot. I said a big lottery. <laughs> yeah, but which really one? Big one. The, 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 the billion. The billion dollar well, one. Like, well, know. let me ask. You, uh, how much do you think it's worth for like all that? You know, it's just to like help out your family. How much uh, do you, think you have to win? If I had to like, if I paid for my parents' house, my brother's house. Uh, my cousin's house and my grandmother's house in the Philippines. Uh, that'd probably be five like five or six bucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Wow! How dare you? Uh, I'm looking. Maybe I'm. Maybe, it might I just be like, I don't have a concept of money. It's, it it's nothing against your a, family. A good, <laughs> a good four million, four million dollars altogether to like renovate everything Damn. and to like pay pay the off for stuff. Million? Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a I think that's, that's a, a low. That's a low lottery, dude. <laughs> No, but I'm saying I want, the, I want the billion dollar one so that I can actually provide for them. And so well. you can have some extra money. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I get <laughs> yeah, it. but you know, I'm gonna give this to you, but a little bit for me, you know. I'm not I'm not looking just at like my just at my, my family that's like directly close to me. Like I have extra family in the Philippines that needs right. that yeah. too. Yeah. All right, all right. Um you know you end up paying I think it's either forty or sixty. I can't remember which which Half you get, but you either get forty or sixty percent of the, the winnings, and you have to do put the rest in taxes. Yeah, it's forty percent in taxes. Forty percent taxes, yeah. yeah. But I still get yeah, a good chunk sucks. of it. So ten ninety nine is the worst. So just don't spend it right away. Yeah, that's why if you ever win, you want to put you know at least forty percent into like an account, so you know <laughs> you know what's paid. <laughs> okay, I would just put fucking, okay, Mister yeah. Accountant. Put, <laughs> I, I would put honestly i would just put 80 percent in savings because like if you want like yeah a, a 400 million dollar lottery what are you gonna do right. with like all that yeah. you do a lot with 400 million dollars no. exactly like you, you just put 80 80 percent of that away <laughs> and like the other i can't do math honestly, right now, yeah, the other you're percent having a blast. You're honestly having a blast i would be i would be like investing yeah, i've been investing a lot of my money into stuff like that would that would make more money like certain would you right. Would you take those um, Apple? Would you business. would you click on those ads that show up on YouTube with the guys who <laughs> make a lot of money? No, look at my Ferrari. And they, yeah, and they want to. I read one book hey, every it's, day. I, it's me. It, it's oh, what's his name? This is, this is it's me. me. Ty, it's Ty Lopez Ty. in my garage. With my Ferrari. Whatever. My I feel. I feel like Ty Lopez might be dead because I haven't heard from him in. I haven't so heard. Long. Actually, no. I saw an. I saw an ad for him. Uh, uh like. A but when was that ad? The when the was that ad he's made? Not trending anymore though. Oh, that's true. What did you say, Allison? I don't even know what the fuck they do. They just Ty, pretend. Ty, they just. Oh, we're themselves. talking about Ty Lopez. Yeah. yeah. They're just you know rich and tell is? you how to make money, but they're. It's like, I don't know. I don't fuck with that. But they don't tell you how to make money. Exactly. The they that's make the, it. That's how they stuff. make money. Yeah. Well, that's how that's you how get caught in a pyramid scheme. Exactly. <laughs> it's like, I got caught by this pyramid scheme like uh, a few years ago. It, basically, I was, it was like out of high school. They were like. You have a chance to win six figures a year if you follow me. I'm like, okay, perfect. <laughs> Next, you know, the first Great, six that's months, what I want. We went six to figures. Virginia, right? <laughs> we went. I went to Virginia. Um, freaking spent over like a thousand dollars on this shit without even getting any money back. And Michael. I was like, so when is the time I make money? He was like, oh, you gotta wait. You gotta buy these books. So every mm-hmm. Thursday there would be these um these guys selling these books, and it'll be the same shit. You could just read it. You read about me, and it's the same exact book itself is just worded differently by different people mm. it's like this is the laws to be successful so you'd read all this thing and spend so much money into it next you know you're just like all right all right all right and you're in the seminars and then you just realize that you're like two thousand dollars down and you're just like yeah. when am i gonna start making money yeah <laughs> and then they start asking you to cut yourself every every <laughs> every <laughs> meeting and you bleed into a cup and the guy <laughs> right, exactly. got you there he's just drinking it and talks about how he's the next savior of earth and i i get it i know what you're talking about <laughs> i'm saying <laughs> uh we've been, we've been you through guys this before join? <laughs> my god michael, michael i uh oh i have something to tell you yeah to tell us i'm gonna tell i'm gonna tell michael something that i've never told anyone before no one oh, what is that and you guys can't listen. Okay. Nobody All listens. right, I'm not okay, listening. I'm not listening. I'm, not listening. I'm very closing my eyes. It's very embarrassing. Cover your ears. I am. All right, I'll cover my ears. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I fell for one of those uh, Indian <laughs> ad. Uh, you like, what? Hacker ad Ooh. things where you call them and tell them to fix your computer because yes, it's broken. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I fell for one of those. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, did, you, off. Like, hey, did you say what you did you say what you said? Because I take my oh, hands yeah, yeah. off. You my, can take you okay. can take it. Yeah, you can take cool. your hands off. Yeah. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, but they gave me the whole spiel, like, and I, I, I didn't I didn't find out. This was like my the first my first year of college. My there there was some virus on my computer, and it said to call Microsoft support or whatever. So I called <laughs> the number, and it's some fucking dude from Delhi, India, and hello, welcome he, to yeah, and he he like walked me through the whole spiel he like went into my computer settings that i didn't realize until later weren't actual problems with my computer but he was telling me all the problems and then they i remotely connected and they went through my computer and stuff like oh. that and it, yeah it wasn't until like like four years later i was watching a video of, of someone like <laughs> messing with one of those guys that i was like that's my computer that was <laughs> right i did that <laughs> right uh, right. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. My um, yeah. my mother. She was. She got caught with like. She almost got caught with like the IRS things. So like, yeah. P- phone calls. She was like, "You need. You owe the IRS two thousand yeah. dollars." My yeah. mom comes up. She's like, "I owe the IRS two thousand dollars." <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, like, "Mom, what did they do? They just sent you a letter." It was like, yeah. "No, they called me. Mom, the IRS called you." Yeah. They, like, no, huh? I don't know. They're coming to my house. So I'm just basically, like, relax. Basically, yeah. Money. Yeah, they tried. Sucks they tried to do that to me. And, and money, there's people get are real bad when it comes to money, right? Just like this movie. Yep. Right. Oh yeah. This, this movie, uh-huh. they're greedy uh-huh. as fuck. Yes, movie. And this I don't really have anything I- more to say. Oh, sorry. Well- oh. Sorry. There you are. Oh what no, happened? jump, jump left. We ha- we the haven't been doing I- anything for so long. My computer went to sleep. No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the only thing I do want to mention, actually. Uh-huh. Um, is something that Michael brought up before we recorded. Um, tits. And it literally has to do with tits. Do you want to talk about it? Yes, that? it has. Well, uh, let's just say Tammy only has one outfit. Yeah. Well, two outfits. <laughs> Tammy is the blonde girl, right? Technically, yes, technically, Tammy is the blonde girl. Technically though. three if she puts the jacket over one of them. Right. Exactly. And it, Well, it, she it was, was working just, the, like, the whole time. Yeah. Right, but when she got out of the Las Vegas, like she couldn't like change. She could have had some sweatpants on. Or like she could have had some sweatpants on. When she went to the hospital, she could have changed. I I just felt like if you're in an emergency situation, Michael, do you often change before you go somewhere? No, he's he'll be in his his lingerie. Michael Michael he he puts on his formal wear. (laughs) Michael (laughs) I put my thong. I'm just like all right. Michael, if I if I'm turning some people find it comfortable. If I'm turning into a leprechaun, Michael, are you just gonna change clothes? While I'm in pain, I, I have while to, I'm man, I have while to. I'm writhing in pain, and my tongue is turning <laughs> yeah, green. Yeah, you can, you can wait like twenty seconds. Yeah, <laughs> wait a little bit. Yeah. You know. What's the point you're trying to make here, Michael? No, I'm just trying to, you know, just trying to, you know, you know, you know, the, to, you know, the. To, to. <laughs> yeah, the, I think yeah. what I think what Michael's trying to say is he was staring at Tammy a long time. I was saying that tits too much. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Did anyone else think that the she was like? Herself was just like, "Hey, why don't you tease us a little bit?" All right, took out her uh, thing and then just puts it back on. Yeah. Like, did anyone else you know think that was she was thinking? a stripper when you first saw her? No. No. Uh, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I totally thought she was a magician the whole time. Yeah. You also, you also just said me too instead of me neither. So <laughs> you kind of just revealed yourself there, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, and that I'm agreeing with you guys. Yeah, he was agreeing. Yeah, that's not how English works. Hashtag me too. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, speaking of things you, that you I, know, what's, go ahead. You know what's my favorite verb that's come from that, or my just favorite thing? That, well, yeah, actually, it's my favorite thing because the whole thing is awful and, and sucks that it happened. Yeah, but the verb. Me too. Like using it, like saying that someone needs to be me too. Me too. Like I've a, never heard of that before. Like it's a, yeah, because it's, it's a movement. So you just got me too, yeah. b- bitch. Yeah, yeah. So when you tell someone, sure, you're like, I'm sure. Yeah, mother, that context. motherfucker needs to be me too. Like you know that they're sexually harassing someone, and so you or someone's you, being sexually harassed, they kick down the door. You just got me too. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? No, I don't want the victim. I don't want the victim to be. What? No, they're, they're being caught, and then they're being oh, they're the, being arrested. The perpetrator is okay yeah. in the act. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> I thought you were talking about the victim who was being sexually harassed. No, 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 no. no. Victim in me, dude. 
No, 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 no. no, the door being kicked down is someone catching them in the act. Gotcha. No, I got you. No, I get. I get what you're yeah. saying now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, anyways, um, <laughs> hey the, you guys, there's little there's, little preface here: sexual harassment not cool. Don't do it. It's not cool. <laughs> uh, speaking of sexual harassment, the, Mitch is uh, the creepiest yes. motherfucker. You yes. can tell already in the very beginning, as soon as he walks, his collar is way too open. First of all, only creepy people do that. Also, a lot of these guys in this casino, a lot of people, a lot of actors, they're from like New York or something. They all have a, a not Las Vegas accent. Yeah. I don't even know what Las Vegas accents are. It's like this. Uh, I'm going to give it to you guys. Ready? Oh, the yeah. burp. Is that it? Hey, it's me. I'm from Las Vegas. <laughs> Is that me? Everybody Mouse? sounds like Elvis. <laughs> Hmm? Yeah. I loved that interaction, by the way. Yes. The Elvis, the Elvis and the interaction. Yeah, I did too. I the thought Elvis. it was a pretty shitty uh, impersonation. It was a shitty impersonation. All right, let's also talk about like the ending when his um the the last note, like the last um saying, he said, um, "I think this is a yeah. beautiful friendship." Yeah. yeah. Aren't they lovers? <laughs> Isn't that that's a quote? <laughs> no, from that's Casablanca. a um, Casablanca, right? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. It was Which... like, very weird, and it just felt like. Well, because they didn't, like, they didn't establish that he was a movie buff to begin with. Yeah, yeah. Like, it or made that, sense. or that it he was like s- that he liked Casablanca. If, if any, yeah, or even, or even that, like, yeah, that he, that <laughs> he. Right, I'm just like. <laughs> a lot of the stuff just didn't make sense. It just yeah, a lot of it. I just felt like the director was just like, "Hey, um, let's add up a little more." Yeah. <laughs> wow. This. You think this movie had a director? <laughs> <laughs> It it had a first, I, I don't know. I don't know if you saw this, but the first name to co- the first name to come up was the first assistant director. Really? Oh, was it really? <laughs> yeah. After the credit, when the credits started rolling, mm. it was first assistant mm. director and then the name. But there are so many weird like <laughs> movie things in, in this movie that I was just like, well, why don't you do this or why don't you like, for example, the Indian guy at the pawn shop? He's he's staring right at Lep. With his gun pointed at him and doesn't shoot him, he just stares at him with the gun pointed at him he as wants the leprechaun the money. is. Uh, no, the leprechaun is just talking to him. But he wants the money. He can find the money later after he shoots. He's him. a good negotiator. But, but he doesn't know if he can find it later. Anyways, there's another part there's where le- where leprechaun has the great Fazio trapped in a box, and the yes. great Fazio has the coin in his hand, and he's like, "I wish that I was at the at the the." Caesar uh, Palace. Caesar yeah. Palace, and he's like, "Oh, mm-hmm. you already used that wish," but he's like, still cutting him. Just take mm-hmm. the fucking coin. You—that's what you want, dude. Right? Mm-hmm. Just give it to him. No, he wants to cut him. Yeah, I think so. He wants. I to know, kill but it, but then he's he loses sadistic. the coin in the process. He loses the coin in the process again. He's a masochist. No, he's, he's a, a sadist. sadist. He's a sadist. I'm no, a sadist. he's a, he's, he's a centaur. <laughs> <laughs> Allison I wishes. Wish. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Brother. Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys, I've been seeing that on Twitter recently, and it makes me upset. Which what? what? Hell yeah, brother. People saying hell yeah, brother. Really? I only heard it from Jonas. I've only well, no, from Megan. No, well, Jonas. I. That's I why say, Jonas started saying it is because Megan's. The, oh, I, no, I, I started. No, I, I started saying it because of my friend Sammy, who's also from Florida. I was saying it before. I have I never Megan. heard you say it until that podcast. Okay. I only heard him say it this season. <laughs> wow. I don't know what you already do, but are getting mixed. Well. Remember, because on the saying, podcast, in the podcast, way, I go. No, <laughs> I remember you, you talking about your friend who said it, but I've never heard you say it before that. All I'm looking. All, listen, all I'm saying, between us four. Okay. I'm upset that there are other people who say it because Why? I feel like. That's a great saying. Because it's an us. I want, yeah, you know. Hell yeah, brother. Hell no. Hell, I gotta say about no, hell no, brother. I want everyone to say it. I think it's a great saying. No, that's, they're going to fucking ruin it. Everyone, gonna everyone every listening I to this podcast, I want memes. you to tweet at us, hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Please. Please do. I love interaction. and uh, But I don't, also don't want to make Kyle upset. He doesn't deserve Is that. Is that like a tag for like a um, But also a do porno? it. <laughs> no, it's just a thing. It's a, apparently it's a thing that Floridians say. I think it's, it's the Avicii it's, song. Hey, is, brother. And it's uh, it's supposed to be like um, what's you his name? Hulk same, Hogan. You made that same joke the fucking first time, Allison. Did I really? I can't remember. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so Michael, you know you know Hulk Hogan, right? Yes, I know Hulk Hogan. So uh, that's what it's based off of Hulk right. Hogan saying how oh, yeah, brother. brother. It. Is it based off of that? Yeah. Oh. Or is he from Florida? Mm. <laughs> oh. Mm. A theory. I wouldn't be surprised. He does Look, have the tan for it. If you guys overdo it, I'm I'm not gonna <laughs> like it anymore. I'm gonna be upset every time I hear it. Well, so. Etcher, I sound like you're a little bitch. I said I said it 14 <laughs> times this episode. I've already annoyed myself with it. I can't stop. So get used to it, brother. <laughs> All right. Well, it's officially ruined. <laughs> I don't blame you. Um, I'm trying to look at my notes right now. I don't have anything else to say. This movie was really horrible. But um, I do have to pee. You, guys, I, how have we not talked about the most insane scene of this movie? Wh- which Where he that? beats the guy with his shillelagh? <laughs> Where the leprechaun Cuts creates, the guy creates a robot oh, to yes, come out of oh, the yeah. TV? A sex robot. Oh my god. I wanted to How? fuck that robot. What kind of powers does this leprechaun have? Apparently, this know. leprechaun has a lot of powers. He, he has literally ma- he's made both a magician, and yes. he also has invention skills. But that's beyond. Us. That's not. Ma- yeah, that's not a magician. Like I'm telepathic. I'm in crazy. the previous movie, he was able to like Create. say something was not, like he was able to project. It was a rhyme. Astral project. Right. Yeah. Like into illusions. people's mind. Yeah. Hallucinations. When, when they were actual, like, death machines. So, he projected a lady coming out of the TV for Mitch to fuck. Mm-hmm. What big ass it is. But, but that means he actually made a robot come out of the TV. Yep. Because the projection was a, a robot that, uh, like, sort, uh, short-circuited and le- electrocuted him. Yeah. Ha- how did how <laughs> how did that happen? In the previous movie, it was just like he projected that onto like a saw, and he went to kiss it and cut cut his face off. But this he well, literally he, made a I robot mean, maybe he come up, out of a TV upgraded. Yeah, but he the glass upgraded. wasn't broken. The glass wasn't broken. The glass in the in the in the on the TV wasn't broken. What if it was a hallucination? And then where did the robot go afterwards? Did That's it go crazy. back into the it TV? It just disappeared. It just disappeared. Right, exactly. He's magic, dude. Yeah. He's magic. It's magic. But, no! Whoa. There has to be rules to your magic. <laughs> no, then, like, you, can't just, be rules. you can't just make things out of nowhere. Uh, then what, what would stop the leprechaun from just making a thousand sex robots and just electrocuting everyone in the world? <laughs> like, that or because he rules. wants his own shilling. He wants the shilling. Whoever has the shilling, he kills. I guess, yeah, that's what the rule is. Right, that's the rule. He can is. do. He can do you literally coin, whatever he wants. Me. I'm gonna kill you. As long as you have the coin, you can do literally anything imaginable. Right. You can. Yeah. But he kills people that don't have it. That's too. true. Yes. He didn't kill. Um, he didn't kill Elvis. But. That's good. Who, can, who could kill Elvis? You know what I'm saying? Himself. Like, With all the drugs. What drugs did he take? Peanut butter. Uh, yeah. Allergic. And bananas. Mm. Um, the the scene where um, Loretta dies, I thought that was very creative. Mm. I thought it mm-hmm. was a creative death, in my interesting. opinion. Although the effects were pretty uh, shitty, an, but I agree. That's... That's an interesting opinion that both of you have. <laughs> Thank you for thinking it's interesting. Hmm. There was a very um, I, I was I was triggered by the hospital scene where the doctor was like, "This is a oh, life were or you death triggered? situation." Were you triggered, Jonas? Yeah. Tell me how you were triggered. Because I used to work at a hospital. I, was, <laughs> I just uh-huh. thought the receptionist they didn't even care. Like she was like, uh, mm-hmm. just like waved her hand, and then she went back onto the phone. Mm. Yeah, she'd be fired. So like she had like she was an extra. She didn't have any words to say. Yeah. She she didn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. They wouldn't. They wouldn't let her say anything else because right, they exactly. didn't want to pay her like, more. <laughs> um, they would have had to pay her if that was the case. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the part where the doctor is like, "This is love, life, or death situation. Do you have health insurance?" And I was like, "That's right. a real thing. That's a real thing right there." And it's crazy how like when they found like the um the money. And his, um, yeah, they literally like that's like, the thing like, that yeah. doctors do that. If they right. know that you're that you're stacked with cash, they'll be like, "Oh, he's we're got great C injury. We're gonna do this, yeah. this, that." It's like yeah. maybe we can do this on Friday. No, Friday you have golf. 
Well, I could be well, rich. This is, an, this is an emergency. Um, Fazio's <coughs> Fazio's audience was very bloodthirsty for him to die. Well, they didn't, didn't think he was actually going to die. Well, they were just. He was like. He was like. No, don't don't say this, please. Like, nah, if, do it. If I were at a fucking magic show in Vegas and uh-huh. the the act was presented that someone was going to be sawed in half, I'd be like, fuck yeah, cut that <laughs> motherfucker in half, baby. You know what Do I mean? It. Like, I would want to see that. Yeah. Mm. But what if it actually happened? Like, how would you Then react? I'd be like, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> like, you saw the intestines, he opened it up and everything. Yeah. What would you... No, would honestly, you I'd probably be like, whoa, those are some good effects. <laughs> I was thinking um, like who too. would saw someone in half with an audience? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that yeah, would be the last know, thing like, that you would think. Um, <laughs> Even serial killers do their shit in private after they had sex with the the, <laughs> the victim. Is that how it goes? That's usually how I uh, I've heard yeah? it done. Yeah. What? What was that? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I'm from Washington. Yeah, what can I it's say? just every, it's your, just your uh, local serial killer. Hmm. <laughs> We have the most serial killers per capita. I can't believe um, so- that I would not a trip with you in person. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't so, die. <laughs> so in the previous movies, Lep could like sense where the coins were. In this one, he, he kind of can as well. But like in the in the in the pawn shop, he couldn't sense that the coin was on the, the floor. coin was on the floor was on the computer well he was always he was always behind yeah like he was always behind with the sense it's like saving a scott because like scott could sniff where where um where bonzi was Mm -hmm. at the end i'm I'm saying like with the because um what's her nuts went up with the coin or loretta went up with the coin to mitch well yeah yes came back and then the other two left with the coin right but, mm-hmm. And he thought that Loretta had it. That's right. why he went after her and made her explode. Right. And so he's like, he he's like always, a, yeah, he was always yeah. like a person behind with right. the, with the coin. Yeah. He doesn't really have like a tracking device. Maybe he's getting okay. old. Maybe his just nose isn't working. But there is like a new to. one coming out, isn't there? A new it already, was, it, a it new already, came, already out. came out. Oh, it already came out. Mm. Leprechaun returns, right? Or, or yeah, yeah, returns. Yeah. yeah. Returns. Oh, Origins, okay. I think was the one before that. I still don't think that's oh, part of the fake. that's part of the lore of this leprechaun. This well, you can you, you it doesn't matter if you accept it or not, Jonas. Um, mm-hmm. It is what it is. Huh. So okay, wow. Okay, uh, so I'm looking. I'm looking at the um, the the uh, actors. I don't believe uh, it. <laughs> the guy who played the guy who played um, Scott. He's yeah, been he's like been working consistently. He's been working consistently. Um, he really has behind the scenes work. No, he's he's acting. He was Voice in Real acting? Steel. No, he Porn. was in Real Steel. He was in Real Steel with uh. He was in Real Steel with uh with Hugh Jackman. Was he one of the steels? That was no. Real. He was or one of the reels. He was, he was one of the reels. <laughs> he was he was a writer for Power Rangers, the movie that came out came out recently. Impressive. Oh, that he, shit. He also that shit, he was yeah. also. He was also a writer Gattins? for f- something like that. Mm. Gattins. Who? Scott? Uh, yeah, Scott. John the Gattins. actual guy's his name. Th- oh yeah, John Gattins, yeah. Uh, he also you're write- looking you're looking at his shit, you're like, I have no yeah. idea. Why are you asking me? <laughs> he also he also wrote He also wrote Flight with Denzel Washington. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's actually a good movie. I like that one. Yeah. So the, the fucking crash scene is awesome. I love the crash scene. Yeah, because I'm just I'm fascinated with with plane crashes anyway. <laughs> I'm fascinated with them too because uh, I'm terrified. But yeah, of them. he has a movie that's coming well, out this year. A big old bitch. So you know, what do. does he have coming out this year? It's called Francis Ferguson. I don't know what it's about. <gasps> that's the one about my dad. Your dad's oh. Francis Ferguson? No, it's Sean Kelly, you idiot. Oh, okay. <laughs> It's it, the description is a description is a uh, the description is a small town a small town's reaction to scandal. That's what it is. That's it. Oh, very mm-hmm. descriptive. Uh, Nick Offerman's in it though. That's my mom. 
if I'm correct. I think oh, so. If you're... Yeah. Uh, but uh, the girl that played Tammy, <laughs> Lee Armstrong, has only been in three things. And, and that's it's... her only like movie she's ever like. Cause if that's you a look shame. Her up, it's just basically her and that. Um... <gasps> you guys. What? You know what it is. What? You know what it is. What is it? Ooh. It's a nice test girl. Because she's a woman. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh that, you know what? It's the only explanation, huh? That's the it. The only explanation. Yeah. All right. The, the lady that's playing, the lady that played Loretta, she's actually still consistently she's in movies, working. Yeah. She's, she's like, she's did two movies in 2018, has three movies coming out in 2019. She's in a lot of horror movies. Yeah. What? She's a scream queen, in other words. Like, that's her... A blonde B-movie actress doing a, a horror movies? <laughs> oh, wait, who are we talking about? Loretta? Yeah. She yeah. looks like the Long Island medium. Oh. Have she you ever like met long... him? The I Long mean... Island medium. Oh. I know um, <laughs> one of my former co-workers actually knows. Yeah, she went to... Was, she was... She's actually related. Really? Is her she daughter from was, uh... Pennsylvania? <laughs> the long <Island> Philly? <laughs> No, she's from um, Mexico. Everyone knows that. No, wait, Jonas, I want to uh, say something too before. I know yeah. you keep trying to. She's going to get on the other side of the wall. I just want to say one thing. I went to school. I had a class with her daughter because she went to Southern. She was, the Long Island Medium? The Long Island Medium. Medium? I, met, I met her Medium? mom. I just wanted to say that because I think it's a fun fact. Okay. You met her, the and Medium's no, mom? No, I just like looked at her from a distance and I was like, I met her. I do. <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sorry. Her. She wears the hair and nails, this, just like the show. Okay. It's a very, uh, very good story. Thank you. Well, Anyways, what guys. She, what she, what she, uh, oh, my she God. <laughs> Poor Jonas. I told, Kyle, I did tell I you wa- that I had work at 6.30 in the morning, right? Yeah. You know, sometimes I forget things, Jonas. Yeah. I want to, I'm like, I want to talk too, but I also don't want Jonas to get mad. I'm not mad. I just I have to sleep. And then I'll, I'll be falling asleep on the podcast if I stay. I agree. <laughs> Same. Uh, no, now I'm make, you're, you're making me feel bad. Let's well, talk tomorrow, I have, guys. I have class tomorrow. I mean, I have work tomorrow early, too. So I'm, I don't want to make you feel bad. I, I'm with you, brother. But I, I'm sorry for bringing it up. I just, I'm, I, sorry. I mean, we're still under an also, hour and, and 30. The, so um, the, the flamethrower part, uh, real quick, the flamethrower part, I was, uh, I was really hoping that they wouldn't forget it, and they didn't. They they brought it back because it was, it was introduced way in the beginning in the movie. Mm-hmm. What did we call? What did we call that? What did we figure uh, out che- what the name of that was? Che- Chekhov's gun. Chekhov's. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It was one of those. And the funniest yeah, thing about it was he was just hanging. Like you actually see the wire just hanging, yeah. just like going back and forth. Yeah. Uh, that was pretty cool, though. <laughs> that was pretty badass. Do you like, do you like seeing midgets hang? <laughs> See, I don't know. Do you like seeing them throw? Do you like seeing them throw through a window? <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> Kyle has, <laughs> he oh, looks happy. <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's creepy. We were talking about Elvis, and it automatically popped up a, a, an ad. Nice. Elvis. Uh, yeah, it's almost like they're watching what you click almost on. Like they're watching. The computer program at the at the pawn shop mm-hmm. was that very a floppy rare. disk? Yeah, it was, well, it was a hard disk. Yeah, it was, it was a hard, hard disk. disk. Right. Yeah. It very, hard... very racist. Uh, <laughs> very Why would racist you say that? To... Well, he is in. Why would you? What do you mean? Explain yourself. When they were talking about the leprechauns, they're like, "Hi, my name's O'Reilly. Here's uh, about uh, leprechauns," and then the Indian <laughs> dude. I'm pretty sure that Indian dude's not. He doesn't have an accent. Uh, why don't you ask him? I will ask him. <laughs> Let's call him right now. You can't say it's racist until you find out that he actually has one. So until then, it's not racist. Well, he's, how a, he talks. he's known as a voice actor, too. If that's the case, you're the racist. For assuming. Are we all racist? <laughs> Hype man mentality. <laughs> <laughs> he's like on my side, but then he's hyping for yeah, exactly. Kyle. Yeah, it's just like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> he just likes hyping people up regardless. Like, yeah, do it, else. dude. Come on. 
<laughs> tell him. <laughs> yeah, come on, man. Don't let him talk about you that. I'm just that. imagining Kyle at a, in a courtroom where, like, the defendant and the prosecutor <laughs> are in the background. Back back and forth. He's like, yeah. yeah, you tell him. <laughs> Don't let him get scot-free. You can fight this man. <laughs> um, I'm like, I'm like, oh, you can do it. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. It's now it's time for our segment. Money. 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 There we there go. There it is. There it is. That's the one. That's you did the good. one. Uh, so they didn't have a box office uh, price, but they do have a budget for the movie. Uh, what did you think? This movie was budgeted at estimated. fourteen. <laughs> fourteen gold shillings. Gold shillings. <laughs> what is that equivalent to? Yeah, what's that equivalent? A baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is the baby priceless? Um, I'm gonna say hmm? the price of having a baby. Six million. So you do the math. Ty, um. Michael, did you look up the number at all? No. No, not at all, man. <laughs> I don't believe that. At all. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't Michael, believe. Be honest. With no, me. I'm gonna guess. I'm I gonna think. Guess. I think. All right. all I think right. you, could, you guys. I, I think, think you guys like could hear his. <laughs> did you? Is that really a guess? I don't know. You're no, that's throwing a guess. me off. That's a guess. Okay. That's a guess. Seven hundred thousand. It's a guess. Seven hundred thousand. So Kyle it's... is. I don't know. I don't know if he's close or not. He better baby. Well, that's but... that's up that's up to you if you're good at math or not. <laughs> yeah. Um, Michael, you are too low. Mm-hmm. Allison, you are too high. Allison's always too high. <laughs> <laughs> Four twenty, blaze it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say, what was your what was your answer, Michael? Seven hundred thousand. Seventy. Say one point two five. One point two five. Hell yeah! Well, I'm gonna have to stop. It I looked can't, like it was one point two five. It didn't look like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was some VFX. Yeah, you know, a lot of the, colors. Like that ear, you know. Like his I mean, yeah. I'm gonna say. You have to I'm think about. Say, they also had to fly. They had to like film in Vegas. Also. I mean, they could have made a set. No. Not for Vegas. You can't. Can That's a lot of. That is a lot of lights. <laughs> and there's like green screen back in the day. Like, well, there was. It wasn't that good. Though. It wasn't that good. There was. Yeah. There was. There was. It, it was, was like, like um, space. what's that movie with um Jennifer Connelly? Um, The Labyrinth. It's like that type of green yeah. screen where like it's like really bad. Requiem for a Dream. Requiem for a Dream <laughs> is a really good movie. <laughs> Requiem for a Cream. Kyle, what was what was your second guess? My second year, if I were to guess one, mm-hmm. 1.2. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Wow. My goal you was, did me like that? My goal, what's your second guess? <laughs> if I could guess, uh, I believe it's 1.2. No. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> My, Michael is the closest with 1.2 because it's estimated at $1.2 million. No, he got it right. Yeah. You got it right. I thought you got it. I thought you said it. You said it. I thought you said it. You were like, oh, it's 1.2. 1.25. And then Kyle but said 1.24. Oh, that was your estimate. Why did Kyle was, leave? I don't know. I'm very upset. Oh, he uh, left. Kyle turned off his, uh, he turned off his video. <laughs> Didn't he say 1.2? He put 1.24. 1. 1. Oh, that's why I'm upset. Michael won and he gotcha. didn't even get the bit. <laughs> He didn't even get the bit that was happening. He sort of said 1.23. He still would have won, but he didn't get the bit. <laughs> he just went straight to the right answer. Straight, straight to, to the right answer. Asshole. Uh, yeah, asshole. Um, okay, guys. And now for our next segment that we're hoping to get sponsored by uh, Fleshlight. Fleshlight, please sponsor us. Kyle, please. play that theme song. Oh, mm, okay. Maybe. If you're nice there to him. Is. Maybe he'll play it if you say something really nice to him right now. Well, he's got to play parts. Uh, well, could you please play it, Kyle? So no, that... you got to say something nice about him. Oh, Kyle. Hey, Kyle, with your with your mm. massive penis that's that glows like... How massive is it? Like it's the, pretty big. Like the green grass in Leprechaun 1. 
Why, uh, Kyle, with your with your magical shillelagh, can you please play the theme song of our? I think you just tried to tell people that I have gonorrhea. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess I can't help it. I can't help that at all. So, uh, anyways, it burns when I pee. <laughs> Anyways, in Brazil, this movie You'll is... You'll find out what song plays. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> in Brazil, this movie is called O Dionde Assassinio. <clears throat> Assassin... Assassino. Assassino. Assassino? Yes. Ay, Dios what? mio! Oh. <laughs> um, in, <laughs> in Croatia, this movie is called Valenjack 3. Valenjack. In Germany, the last, one, the last one was Valenjack too, right? So that's just yeah. for Leprechaun. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Um, in Germany, this movie is called Leprechaun Three: Dordech Spiel in Las Vegas. Uh, in Greece, this movie is called Kalos Irthate Stin Kalosi. 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 Uh, you know. Same thing. There's a lot of el diendos, uh, odiendos. Um, el in, diablo. Uh, in I know that one. Spain, this movie's called Leprechaun Three: El Dion de Asesino. I think that means like casino. Assassino. Mm. Assassino flew around my roof. <laughs> that reminded me of. I'm sorry, Kyle. The way that you saying that, he looks so sad. It's Kyle was so it. angry. <laughs> He just looked down. He was just like, oh, no. <laughs> he got really... Oh, uh, really still... in, in Hungary, this movie's called Gilkos Kobold 3. And that's it! Yay! Yay. Um, guys, how would you rate this movie? I... I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it. You guys wanna know I'm gonna give it? We gonna, we give, gonna it. give it. Oh, I'm going to a potato flying around the room. <laughs> a potato flew around. <laughs> it's topical because there's a leprechaun. Yeah. Yes. They love uh, potatoes. Leprechauns? Yeah. Yeah, they love all they kinds love of potatoes. potatoes. Have you had his accent? Oh, potatoes. Oh, potatoes. That sounds oh, like... Oh, potato. Oh, potato. Oh, potato. Oh, potato. Po, po, did you guys know who? Um, <laughs> did you guys know Nor from uh, from Vine? Nor Al Al Nakib. L.A. Uh, Nor. Uh, she the had a friend game? that was that's Irish, uh, named Charlotte, and she was like, she was like, "Hey, what is your beauty regimen?" And she goes, "I rub potatoes on my skin every morning." Oh, I think <laughs> I know that Vine. Yeah, I think I did vine. see that. Yeah. What's you guys, uh, <laughs> you guys know that? Uh, you guys know that I have an Irish wife. Do you? You do. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it that Sorzy Wilson girl? Saoirse Ronan. Saoirse Ronan. Saoirse. Is that your wife? It's my wife. <laughs> we, we found. She doesn't. She doesn't know it yet. She doesn't know it yet. Yeah, you're so Burger. lucky. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah, she's in Lady Bird. So Burger. lucky. She's, she's beautiful, Brooklyn. dude. Dude. All I'm saying is. She doesn't know it yet, but she doesn't know it yet. But I think Rex and I is that uh that's sexual harassment, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you just you, you just me tooed her. <laughs> just, um, she doesn't know it yet, but she, but please don't me to me. You just got. She does it the most Irish Irish accent. You just got me tooed. <laughs> uh, no, but she uh, Rex and I fan casted her as uh uh anything. <laughs> Any, um, as Jean Grey, I think we were like mm. she should be Jean Grey. I like that. I could see yeah. that. Okay. Um, I see that. Okay, uh, guys, uh, Kyle, how would you rate this movie? Did you not listen? <laughs> a potato. You just, just said a potato flying around. around. How, just one potato. Yeah, one potato. Okay, <laughs> so one potato. Out of how many? Two potato. <laughs> Added two potatoes. <laughs> I don't know how many, how many blades are on a fan. At least six, uh, four, least five. I have I have five on mine. Guys, I have a special one. It just has four. Nice. I have no fans. <laughs> so you can say that again. 
I have no fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Freeze frame. <laughs> Uh, so I yeah, so fifty. I give it a five. I give it a five. Uh, it's five out whatever. of ten, or yeah, he said fifty. <laughs> Sorry, I was. I'm very tired. Um, Allison, I would give us. Oh, uh, right. I said two, Michael. Oh, uh, I give us a one. Yeah. Out of ten, guys. Yeah, one out of ten. I hated yeah. it. Really? I did. I fell asleep like I twice. Didn't, I didn't I, hate it. I definitely I, watch it all the way through, but I. I was gonna watch all three, but then I'm done without it. I was gonna watch all three. Don't watch all three. And like, you know um, what? The first one I fell asleep on, and I was like, I can't watch the second one back to back. I'm like, the first watch the third. You oh, you don't need the other two movies. Go ahead. No, you don't need the other two. Yeah. Um, I was gonna say, I don't think we've had a, a a a guest committed that committed. But we have. I forgot who. Someone did do that. Casey. Casey. What did he do? He watched. He watched the the first Thanksgiving. Oh, he does. He just goes above and beyond. So do yeah. you, Michael. Mm. Yeah, Casey, but Casey's definitely the best guest <laughs> we've ever much. had. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. I, I, I like this movie, so I was going to give it a 6.5. Oh, yeah, up there. I, think I thought it was the most more <laughs> I had two potatoes, Michael. For some reason, I thought it was the more entertaining out of the three so far. Hmm. Um, No, because the first one had Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer Aniston was really hot. I like the second one. Really? I wow, so my favorite's the first one. Allison, the second one. Jersey, the third one. Michael, you're the tea breaker. Uh, I like the first one better. Because <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Aniston, that's why. Because <laughs> she got no, that ass. It. That's, yeah, the, that's the only reason I, I'm... Uh, I didn't even know she was in that movie, too, until, like, Allison told me. Well, like, I texted her. I was like, hey, Jennifer Aniston's in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, Yeah. That was great. I, that was exactly <laughs> what I said. That was, that was a good impression. <laughs> um, yeah. So, uh, guys, that's it. That's the movie. That's next the movie. Guys, next thanks movie, for listening. We're going to uh, space. Special Whoa. thanks to Michael Drew's hands. Oh, thank you. Oh, thanks for coming on. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Um, oh, we forgot. To, I forgot to tell you, Michael. We usually do a thing at the end where we say one thing from the media that we've been watching that we want to recommend. So whether that's like music, a show, uh, YouTuber, whatever. Um, a porn star. Yeah, anything mm-hmm. that you've been really feeling lately, what you want to like tell the people, like you let us know. I've been watching a lot of porn lately. Yeah, have no, you? So, no, actually, yes. I've, I've watched. The problem is with porn. We were just um, talking about the whole, the whole four. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 You know what I do recommend? Um, I recommend watching Captain Marvel. It's a really okay. good movie. I saw that last night. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it last night also. Nice. I heard otherwise. Yeah, it was all right. I didn't hate it, but it wasn't like. It didn't have to be that long. It was okay. She's powerful. She's yeah, it was pretty dope. long. It was pretty long. It was like an hour I, and fifty. The the tribute they did to Stanley in the beginning of that movie. <gasps> oh my I god! I loved it. It oh. was perfect. Yeah, it was yeah. perfect. It's great. And I love how she she smiled too when yeah. she saw Stanley in that thing. She just smiled at him. Kyle hasn't seen it, guys. Wow. Oh, no, 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 no. But yeah. No, all I'm all I'm saying is of. Of course, they fucking undermine the female superhero movie by playing some dead dude at the beginning of it. I didn't even uh, think about that, and you know what? You know what? I he didn't, stand. He, he, he didn't even. He <laughs> didn't even. Um, he didn't even invent uh, Miss Marvel. I think. So he didn't invent like half those. He just took credit for them. Yeah. Um. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Uh, also, Kyle. I just want to say. Okay. Can we can we stop saying stand? What? Why? Can we stop saying we stand things? Yeah, Why? I agree. Cuz I know one, I just did. It's, it's it's just overused. But two, we know where that comes from, yeah, right? Like, like we understand you, the origin. Did you the see M&M the music? Is that from Eminem's song? 
It's yeah. literally a guy who's obsessed with someone so much that he yeah. kills his wife and unborn children. And for himself. Him. Yeah. Don't forget that. And himself. Mm-hmm. And we're just we're okay with that. Oh, we're just we're just saying right. that's well, how we feel here's, about it. I mean, it's Kyle's the guy from Le- it's the guy from Final Destination, so it's fine. Here's what? I was. Did you guys not watch the music video? The for actor, that? yeah, the actor is the. Um, the actor is the guy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was just gonna say this is um, Kyle's weekly segment where he talks about um, <laughs> <laughs> things on millennials exaggerate do that annoy me. The exaggerations in millennial culture that really bother him. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So. I, Even though I he mean, himself is a millennial. True. And? Sorry. I'm also white. All? I can't talk about the things that white people do that irritate me. <laughs> like, yeah. uh, not being able to take spicy foods. Yeah. <laughs> is that really a white people thing? I don't know. Are you kidding me? Well, what's his name from Hot Ones does it all the time. <laughs> yeah, there are exceptions <laughs> to the rules, <laughs> Jonas. <laughs> Are there? I don't know. <laughs> this one, one, this one white guy I know—he does it all the time, so all white people can do it. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> it's like, well, is that he what, can eat spicy food, so so Ky- yeah. Kyle, is that what you're enjoying this week, Amelia? What one? stand Sp- culture? <laughs> people standing things? No. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're so I stand. actually. I haven't been, um, I've just been listening to a lot of music recently. I've just been super busy with work. I haven't gotten any, into any new YouTube channel. Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, wait. Have I, did I talk about High Top Films yet? Did, what was High Top Films again? No, I think I talked about. I don't think you did. I think I talked about the other, the other it's a superhero guy. Oh, no, I did. I did. The guy who talks about. Um, superhero culture and nerd culture and stuff, and he gets like really excited about it and stuff like that. Yeah, Um, that's like that's that's the only newest thing I've been really uh, into recently. So I'm actually going to go through my history and see if I've done anything. uh, Someone else go, Uh, Allison. Okay, um, one of my favorite artists is Gregory Allen Isakoff. And if you don't know who he is, he's a beautiful singer, songwriter, uh, guitarist, whatever, all this stuff. He has some of the most beautiful Bra- songs. Brag about it. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, because I'm related to him somehow. No. Um, yeah. It, anyway, uh, he has these beautiful songs, right? I've, I've been listening to him for a while. However, I only recently discovered that one of his albums was his live show at the Red Rocks in Colorado with the Colorado Symphony. Mm, And um, he played some of his most popular songs. And like, let me tell you, I mean, it's like a long, it's not like a long story, but like, I'll, you know, just say that like, (laughs) he, like, he... I will play Gregory Allen Isakoff at work and my boss and like my coworker and I will just like talk about him for a very long time. Like he just bonds us. We are molded. His music is just so beautiful. And, and I don't know, it's, it's just, it's beautiful. And I listen great, to it. Great music will do that. It's perfect in the winter It's or when you're sad. So, I mean, you still got a couple more months. So anytime. Yeah. So really, I was going to say a couple, <laughs> no, a couple more uh, especially, weeks, li- especially if you live up north. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what are you trying to say? Because it's always cold. That we're up all there. sad. No, it's always oh, cold. Oh, well, we are all sad. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, y'all got no sun. Ah, uh, it was sunny today. I actually, guys, I took off my fucking hoodie today. No, you oh, didn't. Oh, it was, it was very warm today. Wow. It was. It sounds pretty, hot. Pretty, it was pretty. Sounds hot both ways, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Temperature wise, I don't. I don't. I don't you got sexy. You got sexy. What are you trying? To... You're being mm. sexy. There. Oh, because I was wearing less clothing. Yeah. I was also fucking a dude. So. Oh. <laughs> That's pretty hot, dude. That's pretty hot, also. Thanks. Um, um, ooh, go ahead, yeah. Jonas. Oh, uh, I, w- I was just going to say, uh, this week, I haven't watched it yet, but I know by the time this comes out, I've been enjoying uh, Queer Eye Season 3. Oh, I How haven't seen it. How do you know you're going to enjoy it? Maybe maybe quality just goes down right here, right no. hill, right now. Uh, never goes down. Have you seen Anthony's body? Never goes down. Jonathan, I, I honestly haven't watched the show. It's 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 heartwarming. It's good. Elsa, it's easy. We need, to, we need to 
send Kyle's profile to Queer Eye. I want them to yes, do, we him, do. do him makeover. Yes, we do. <laughs> Just Are imagine you- Kyle on the on the on the show and they're like, Yeah, we're all gay. Go <laughs> brag about it. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I feel this like is the second. You look like Jonathan. Impersonation. Who does? I I can't agree or disagree, but I haven't seen the show. You know the one with the mustache, the really flamboyant one with the hairdresser who's like, "Yes, honey," the one who's on Game of Thrones. Wow, thanks. I see that. The yeah, really fun- thanks. I mean, have you seen Jonathan? He's hot. no, I haven't seen the show. He I looks like you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> uh. I figured out what I want to th- what I want to talk about. Yes. Okay. My bottle. No. Uh, <laughs> that's actually, what he, that's what he says to cry. <laughs> <laughs> that uh, it actually plays into what I what I want to talk about. The um, so the original hosts of SourceFed have started a new oh, channel called The Valley yeah. Folk. Yes. Yeah. Lee Nguyen, Joe Brada, <laughs> yep. Steve Saragosa, Elliot Morgan. Uh, Elliot Morgan. Uh, his birthday the other day. Uh, and their ca- their camera guy Kevin, mm-hmm. uh-huh. I don't know his last name. They just call him Kevin. But it's called the Valley Folk. It's a great show. Just check it out in general. Yes. But specifically, um, they have a show that was created by Joe Beretta. It's uh-huh. his little brainchild called Trivia Bidet, uh-huh. where they get their friends, they sit them on a bidet, yeah, and they <laughs> they ask them questions, <laughs> yeah, and if they get it wrong, they get sprayed. Okay, I love the concept. and it's it's. It sounds yeah, like it's really fucking funny. It sounds like the reverse of uh, Smosh's thing where they have a mouthful of water. Yeah, I was like, and try to make them laugh. You laugh, you lose. Right. Yeah, yeah. They should make this one normal. But this one's better. This is better because like I want. I'll, I've never tried a bidet. Have you? I have. No, yes. I've never tried it. I don't, I just use the wipes. <laughs> the funny I, get, thing, um, I, I used the bidet in the Philippines, and I didn't know what it was. It was just a button that I was just hanging. Can you just wash his face with it? <laughs> no, 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 no. I was on the toilet and everything. And then I just pressed this button. I'm like, oh, <laughs> what the? Uh, <laughs> uh, apparently, if it gets right on, it can get, it can get up it there. It gets right if up there. Gets, that was a high yeah. pressure, you know. Like, yeah, yeah. It's trying to get into that. Like, it's trying to get that. Okay, um, you know what? Let me try this again. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't get that. Oh, the first, I didn't get that. Second time, let me try again. <laughs> there's, that, uh, there's that scene. There's that scene in New Girl where Jess tries the, the bidet at yeah. her like f- rich boyfriend's house or whatever. And yeah, she's like, "How many smiley faces were there?" She's like, "I don't know." There's like six smiley faces. He's like, "Oh my god, I've never gone past three <laughs> uh, Michael, I don't know if I've ever bragged to you guys, but uh, I have Z- I have Steve Zaragoza's number. Oh, Steve deal. Zaragoza. He's really yeah. funny. Who's yeah. Steve? Uh, do you text him? I can if I wanted to. <laughs> text him right now. Call him. All right. Call him right now. No, it's late. No, it's no, only it's, ten, it's ten thirty. He's probably live streaming. Hey, hey Steve. <laughs> hey, it's Jonas. We we met we met we met that we met uh, that I'm one time in Florida in two thousand sixteen. You remember that? Yeah, I still have your number. <laughs> I lost a lot of weight. You wouldn't recognize me. Him too. <laughs> yes, okay, he lost a lot of weight since then. Too. Okay, yeah. you gained some of it back. You date a lot of you. All the women you date are very beautiful, healthy. I love you. Bye. I still don't know who we're talking about. So it's, it's a, it, one yeah. of the hosts yes. from that, that I was talking about from the Valley right. Folk. He was from Valley Folk and SourceFed. Yeah, uh, originally and, from SourceFed. Actually, before like, that, he worked for Sony. Mm-hmm. Yes. And then and then he just dates beautiful women also. That's another thing. He and he, dude. It was um Dude. Was he must have a big dick. He, <laughs> he does. I know. I have his phone number. So. <laughs> <laughs> he sends you. I can show you it right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, for yeah, real though. Well, like no, but I mean like, I understand. Like he's he's a very charismatic like, person. Insanely yeah, I, funny I, dude. I yeah, like, so I'm sure that's person that he that's knows what he it. wants. Like he's he's, he's sure, like that yeah. type of person that he was like no, and, no, this is what I want. This is and this and is what I want. Very I genuine. Want right. But right. Bree Esrig like Yeah, Bree Esrig. Mm. Bree Esrig? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean dude. Also yeah, who's, the, who's this new girlfriend? I feel it's her name. Uh, I I don't know her name, but she's, she's a, fucking gorgeous. Yeah, she's a yeah, YouTuber. I see her on Insta- yeah, I see her like on um, um, Instagram. There's, like I will dancer. say this. I'm gonna say this about Steve. He was like the nicest dude when I met him because we were 
We literally went to go walk around to look for food, and he introduced me to all these other YouTubers. It was like, you don't know Jonas? This guy is <laughs> the shit, dude. And I was like, we just met yesterday. <laughs> He's the nicest awesome. dude ever. One thing I like uh, about him, too, yeah. is like the fact that he, he can like turn like his old Andy Kaufman type of you know, thing he can troll yeah. if he wants yeah. to. Yeah. Like in public. Yeah. And I'm just like, dude, that takes a lot of balls to do. Like he just yeah. do a mm-hmm. bit just like that. It's just like, yeah, oh my he, God. he doesn't he doesn't give a shit about people. Right, he doesn't opinion. give a shit about people's opinion, yeah. It's just amazing. Yeah. Also, he's pulling off these poncho hoodies off really well. Yeah. <laughs> I want some poncho hoodies. He's got good style, man. He has he's good got style. good style. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. He can play um, guitar. He's very he's very he, you know, he's not, he's a lot of talent. He can sing yeah, he too. He knows. He does. I hope he listens to this. I'll text I'll text I'll te- I'll te- oh, yeah. it to him. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> um, come on the show. Steve. Steve, come on the show. Um Michael, where can they find you? Uh, they can find me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is hey, I'm not Michael. They can find me on Instagram. <laughs> my Instagram is M Judan. <laughs> wow. Did you just Still start streaming? Still not Michael. Have you uh, started streaming yet? Um uh, um soon. Soon. I just gotta figure out how OBS Us works. Too. Oh, Oh soon. really? Soon too. Oh yeah. yeah. I still haven't gotten my video cards, but uh, once, we, once so, we get it. Yeah, what's your <laughs> Allison, where can they find you? Allison underscore Faye on Twitter and Allison underscore Molcrone on Instagram. If you want to look at our old pictures, just Allison Molcrone. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I can't. I still can't get that fucking account down, but it's cool. I just gave up. Damn Russians. Uh, Kyle, where Damn can they find you? <laughs> Thank you. You can find me. Mm-hmm. You just look, you just look into the sky. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, is Jesus? Oh, hey, what's up? <laughs> well, you'll probably you could probably find uh, the actual Kyle probably floating around somewhere up there. <laughs> you know, but where can they find you, Kyle? He was abducted. <laughs> Kyle C. <laughs> Kelly <laughs> underscore on Twitter and uh, Instagram. If you want to fo- follow my channel stuff, which. I, I say this every episode, but by the time the time this one comes out, it's for my I'm probably releasing shit. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll yeah. see. Uh, you guys can. I have like I have like eight. Yeah, he, videos I've seen them. done yeah. and edited. I just I, I'm waiting on certain things. Okay. Okay. I have a lot going on in my life, is what I'm saying. Yeah, we don't okay. get it. We get it, guys. We don't understand. <laughs> I'm brag about it. It's okay. Brag about it. Uh, <laughs> and you can find me at Joe Nasty Draws with a Z at the end on all social medias: Twitter, Tumblr, uh, Instagram, uh, Pornhub, all those good stuff. <laughs> wow. Uh, 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 just kidding. I use X videos, bitch. I want to see mm. that butthole, baby. <laughs> I, I'm like imagining Kyle saying stuff like this to the queer eye guys as he's hanging out with them, because I can see you're, that you're, you're imagining my what? You saying this to the queer eye guys? Oh, I, gotcha. Because I want, I really would that. I would, I think that would be a great episode is you with them, because I genuinely think that you're funny and they are hilarious as well. Anyways, thanks guys. for that little sneak compliment in there, Joe. No, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you, I it. mean, you got you got a big dick hole, whatever, dude. <laughs> nice dick, ni- ni- nice dick, girl. Nice think, dick, boy. Is that a compliment? <laughs> you have a big know. dick hole. Nice dick, girl. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, Allison, you want to say your thing? Yes. Oh, before you say that. Yes. Everybody listening, tell someone that you love that you appreciate them. Yeah. Thank you. I like that. And hey, hey uh, guys, Michael, Allison, Kyle, mm. I appreciate you guys. Aww. What are you fucking gay? Oh wow. I, pre- <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you back as well, nerd. Hey, <laughs> Jonas, Allison, yes. Michael. I appreciate I appreciate you more than Jonas does. Wow. Ooh. What are you what are you extra gay? Wow, wow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <he is>. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle did this this bracky move. <laughs> <laughs> two two deuces over the air, dog. Yeah.
All right. I don't appreciate See you guys at cunts. all. So, so, <laughs> it's it's girl. See you, cunts. See you, cunts. As tits girl. Michael, say it. What? See it. I don't appreciate you. Oh, no, okay. no, see you, cunts. Oh, see you, cunts. Bye. <laughs> that's froze He's... on my screen. Yeah, it froze. Yeah, everybody just like froze. I was just like, what the fuck just happened?